ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Darkest Hour. Tonight's a special episode. It is our 50th episode. We're doing a full chat Q&A hangout today. Just the three of us. Happy 50th. Happy 50th, boys. Hello. Hello. Yay. Oh, bye, boo, baby. 50 episodes. Woohoo. Cheers. Cheers, dudes. Cheers. Shall we? We made it. We made it. 50. Pretty crazy. Cheers. Donnie. Donnie, how are you? Cheers. Cheers, lads. How are you, Donnie? I'm swell, man. I started a new job on Monday. Um, life's <sighs> busy, but life's good. Very nice. I'm happy that you have a job. That's fantastic. Mr. Right. Griffia, how are you? <laughs> all right <laughs> all right it's been big chilling lately okay how goes the uh the grindage the stream grind it's all right i'm just like so like waiting for wipe yeah absolutely yeah so obviously it's 50 episodes in full chat q a tonight <coughs> just hanging out no real agenda, no guest, but we should talk about the game at least for a minute, right? Just to get things started. How's the game? How you guys feeling? We Good. Had some, we had some hot fixes come through. I was uh, I was doing uh, solo queue trios ice caverns for my demigod run. I got to Voyager three, Voyager two. They hot fixed the game. <coughs> now we're back to the classic bullshit and the rotation. They fucked up my stride. Now the uh, the push to demigod has been slowed down significantly. But I'm exemplar three. I think I'm gonna make it. To be fair, the Q. I mean, like I was in some matches where it was like me and one other guy at like in the middle of the night. So probably a yeah. good thing, I would say, that they fixed that they sent it back. Yeah, I mean, I hear the. For the AP grind, that's like the ideal scenario. <laughs> Just you and one other solo in Brazil, yeah. you know, in the ice caves or some shit. But you guys be hopping regions? Oh, dude. Yeah, I, I hop regions. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because AP? I, I'm, not, I'm not playing with anyone, right? And, I, and I'm grinding in sure. trios. So for me, I'm kind of doing like this hard mode rat style in trios. Yeah, as that's a solo. just. I don't know why I did that, but that's just uh, extra hard. I'm do, I'm doing Shameless. extra hard mode, essentially extra hard mode, long sword fighter, solo trio. But you know what? I uh, I'm making it. I'm making it work. I'm I'm almost there. Two and a half ranks. I feel like it's probably gonna take like thirty fucking games over the course of the next week. It's like four k points a rank, though. I know. I mean, I go in with yeah. a good weapon and then gray gear, and I come out with full bags and a new kit on. So even with the cost, yeah, even with the cost, I come out with four to six hundred AP. Oh, what class are you on? Fighter. Yeah. At least you can use invis pots. Yeah, I'm just I essentially just yeah. parry repost everything. I pull stuff with a crossbow. I cheese big bosses that I can't take on. And that's it. I get out. As soon as the first gate opens, I run to it. I basically carve my way to a static exit. And as soon as it's up and my bags are full, I get out and I just reset it. It is a very, yes, someone said that sounds so boring. It is. I'm not having fun at all. <laughs> it's yeah. not. I, I miss PvP. I haven't fought a player in like four days. Like I, I barely even AP seen AP farming got old real yes. fast. It's, I'm literally doing this just for the cape. That's it. I, I typically prefer norms pvp like get in there with like a white kit little self-found action kill two or three or four people get the fuck out repeat but i want that fucking galaxy cloak dude what can i say you know what can i say so there's some rounds where i just don't see players at all which is crazy like at all well, I, I think I the game is them. pretty low population nah i get i mean there's still like 10 to 15k players right well, let's see right now. Is it that much? Yeah, check it out. 
My guess right now is 9,000 <clears> in the dungeon. That's my guess. That's probably pretty fair. Nine, in the dungeon. Or in total, online. Let's, let's, oh, okay. Okay. In total, online right now, let's go 10.5K. That's my final guess. I'll go 7,300. 7,300? 7, All right. All right, Donnie, what is it? Uh, I don't know. I got to update the game. God damn it, Donnie. I haven't played all weekend. Dude, I've been balls deep in Helldivers. The game's been so fun. 10.5. Yeah. I think the game has been it's out. It is 10.5? I was right. Uh, 11.5. Oh. When did Helldivers come out? Sorry, go ahead, Donnie. February 8th. I've got 20 hours in it. A lot of I think people, I bought it like two A lot days of ago. people have jumped into Helldivers, yeah. I, it's not really for me. It's a good time. Yeah, it's not for me, but... I was on the AP grind, and then Helldivers came out, and I was like, "I think I'll, I think I'll do something else." Like this, it's kind of miserable. <laughs> it, it is yeah. kind of, it is kind of miserable. I mean, the game is fun. I'm loving it still, but the AP grind sucks balls. They got to figure something out with that. Well, here's the problem with it: is you can't encourage stuff that doesn't require interaction. I think you gotta, you gotta make people want to PvP for the AP. Like, that's got to be one of the best ways. Otherwise, like. What are we doing? Well, even something like <laughs> bossing, you get 125 points. I think it's split. Yeah, that's get stupid. Yeah, that should be it's easily like, a thousand no points point. or something. It's like three bangles, three fucking blue bangles. It, it doesn't make boss. sense. Yeah, they they need to. <clears throat> so it's, adjust. yeah, people don't even go down unless they you know like three stacks that need AP. Like all three of them will go down. But right, yeah, that sucks. Like, you <laughs> can't even get a bosser team to go down and do something. Oh my god, I haven't pickpocketed a boss team, and I don't know how how many weeks, how many months, probably. Hmm. I haven't. Yeah, no. I haven't yeah. even. <clears throat> we did. We uh, did we tell you we ran into Ken Kenobi squad uh <laughs> last week when we were playing the game. <laughs> we were we in the did. lobby. <laughs> what's the what's the knockback boy? I forget the fucking name of it. Nipple uh, nipple on. Yeah, nipple we were like on. looking at people. We're like, oh fuck, this guy's in like full gold. He's got nipple on. Um, we barely get out. They like almost kill us at extract. And then we look at spectating. It's fucking Ken Kenobi and his goon squad of slayers. And we were like, oh, thank God we got out of that fucking lobby. <laughs> they tried to chase. We all got out in our own exits. Luckily, we all scattered. It was like bloodhounds chasing down baby rabbits. No. Oh, yeah. We barely, yeah. We barely got out. They're running you out. They're running you down like dude, they were in yeah, like there's, full dude. gold gear with uh, they're they playing a different and death bloom. They're playing a different game. Oh, yeah. Death Bloom. Was that doing during like the dupe time though? It was, was before like the hot it was before the hot fix, yeah. Yeah. Ouch. But still though, I mean they they were playing a different game, dude. It was like yeah. it was like a hunter versus Bambi. And Bambi has no idea there's a rifle pointed at his head. It was uh, you know. Anyway. I'll be honest, them them dupe times are crazy. <laughs> I'm just like I'm just like, please, Viola. Oh, I go to trade. It's like, all right, bet. Get a Viola. Go in game. Dude, one game I had, fuck. I had an Elvin, a Viola, a Pulv. Fuck, I had a fourth one. I can't remember. One game. You get four unique Four named you? items in my bag. Yeah. It's Holy. You know how crazy that shit is? You just take them for a spin. You know it's going <laughs> to get rolled back, so. I got killed by a Viola like three games in a row. Not kidding. Uh, that's I had to like stop oh, yeah. playing. I had yeah, to stop playing for the day. There is yeah. no point to play. Yeah, exactly. Truly, there's no point to play unless you get like those items, which you could probably maybe. Yeah, you could probably find one. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna say unless you're streaming, then you probably wouldn't get one. But right, or like you know a bunch of other people that do that shit. Hmm. Well, there's only eight nine days of the wipe left, folks. Get your cloaks while you can. Get them while you can. Um. Play trios, play duos, play solos, rat it up like me and do what you got to do. But I think you're going to regret it. If you're a hardcore dad fan and you don't grind out Demigod, you're going to regret not getting the first big reward for preseason one, in my opinion. But yeah, that being probably. said, <coughs> excuse me. Why don't we open up for a full episode Q&A hangout session? Celebrate episode 50. It doesn't even have to be dad related. It can be about anything you guys want. We can just have a regular ass conversation. Lay it on us. We'll hang out with you, chat. Isn't that isn't that beautiful? Isn't that so cute? Yeah, we're, so, we're so nice, dude. Yeah. We all met on Jay's OnlyFans. 
Glabussy. How did you all meet? <laughs> I met Donnie when he was a viewer of mine when I was a full time streamer like 10 years ago when Donnie was in fucking high school, I'm pretty sure. I was like a 15 year old kid. Yeah. It's, that always made me feel so bad. Some like, groomed me. Some groomed me into Twitch streaming. I was like <laughs> in, my mid, oh, okay. in my mid 20s and Donnie was like studying for a geometry test. Like, Jesus Christ. But anyway. Um, we ended up playing, uh, was it Daisy or WoW or something together? Uh, like, I think when WoW Classic came out, like yeah. he joined your guild. Yeah, he joined the WoW Classic guild, and then we just kind of hung out from there. Um, and then Jay, I saw Jay Griffia TV, or TTV, on the leaderboard for Wizard in, like, Playtest 3 or 2 or something like that. And I was like, who the fuck is this TTV cunt? Let's go see if this guy is live, live, this motherfucker. So I went to Jay Griffey on Twitch, and he was live for three people. So I went into his chat. I was viewer four. That's true. <laughs> and this is like the, the beginning of the, the final grind of, of uh, Jay trying to become a full-time streamer. He had, he had tried before, uh, previously, in yesteryear. But Jay was like, you know what? This Might is have a... been. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, hey, man, uh, I saw you in the, uh, the leaderboard. Um, you seem like a cool guy. It's a good stream. You're really good at Wizard. I'm just going to hang out in here. And then I just kept going back to his stream and watching, and he'd get, like, a few more viewers, a few more viewers, a few more viewers. And I think he got up to, like, 40 viewers, and I was like, dude, why don't we just do, like, a Dark and Darker podcast? It could, be, it could be fun. And I hit him up on Discord, and we talked about it. And I said, you know, one day, you know, this thing will be successful if we have the devs on. And it could be, it could be really cool to, you know, be a pillar or a cornerstone in this games community. And Jay was like, yeah, let's fucking do it. And we started the podcast. I was like, Donnie, do you want to join? Donnie said, yeah. And then that was that. Calling this podcast a pillar or a cornerstone of the community <laughs> is a wild statement. I think it's true, though. A lot of people have told me that. I know it's wild to say that. I mean, the devs told us that. So I'm just going to, okay, I'll take it. If, if other people are, watch. If, if, those, if other folks are saying it, fine. I didn't say it myself. I just heard others say it. But I think it's okay to say that. I mean, hold, hold the line podcast, another pillar. One peg, a pillar. When he does his, his video updates. There's not just one pillar. Many pillars. Who's hold, the fourth hold pillar? Up. We got three. Uh, I think three is usually a good balance. We can have a fourth pillar. Who's the fourth pillar in the community? We got Hold the Line. We got One Peg who does his videos. All these streamers? I mean, you who's, know, who's like someone streams? that. Well, we had like people that tried to uh, talk about the case and about Iron Mace and Dark and Dark. Uh, like Ryan six days a week? Yeah, Ryan six days a week. He's the other pillar. Bam. I'd say it's there Ryan. No, I mean, I, I think uh, both him and One Peg. I mean, I, I watch pretty much most of their videos. I mean, you know, I, th I think they do a very good job. Especially Ryan. I feel like he's really hit his stride with uh, his presentation and, like, how he sets up his video. It's super easy to watch. Super pretty. Oh, yeah. You're like, oh, shit. Ryan yeah. does a fantastic job. Well, you have, like, your community pillars. And when I say, like, what a pillar is, is, like, a voice. Oh, Spuddy, yeah. Yeah, well, Spuddy is just a good entertainer. I wouldn't even call him a pillar of the community. He's just a badass streamer that happens to play bad. Same with Katie. But Ryan Six Days a Week is data mining the game and creating tutorials and showcasing stuff happening in the game. One, one peg is covering the case. He's covering news. He's having the devs on. We go over uh, patch notes. We go over the state of the game, changes, news, interviews, and we interview literally almost every week people in the community and showcase other people in this community. So, I mean, I mean, hold the line, a similar thing, right? RK and armor doing player profiles. I don't know. I think there's a few people that uh, are deserving of being called like community. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot champions. of champions. Yeah. Who make content for sure. I don't watch one peg cause he's bad at the game and only posts videos about dark beam. So he's only good to relate to newbies who play norms. JK. He's cool. Good update videos. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That was like someone that really needed to get something off their chest because they like the guy, but they just had yeah. to get that one passive aggressive statement out, but they still like him. <laughs> so they have to ice yeah. ice that cake at the end. Um anyway, yeah, one peg's great. 
I'm yeah. I'm hoping for <laughs> JK. The, uh, yeah, JK, <laughs> by the way. JK <laughs> BT dub. I'm hoping uh. for the next round table in like a few weeks, we could have Katie, one peg, and Spuddy on. That would be an epic, epic fucking uh round table. We'll see if we can get to that point. True. That'd be sick. Why not? I would I would love it. Uh, I want Distortion 2 on next week. I hit him up. He said he's going to let me know if he can join. Distortion 2, Distortion be sick. he is such a legend, mm-hmm. man. He's he's like one of the god-tier speedrunners on the planet, too. He's not just a good streamer. The guy is a champion speedrunner. Like, one of the best Souls like Elden Ring Souls game speedrunners ever. He's insane. Um. Anyway... Full. Yeah, I, should, I, I I'll probably watch with distortion more. I watched uh, Lethal Company. Fuck, I can't even remember what other game. Watch a little Monster Hunter. He speed runs Lethal Company. <clears throat> yeah, he did ten quota world record. He can like, speed so run anything. Low. He's so fucking crazy. That guy's cracked. When he and have yeah. you guys ever seen the Happy Hob? No. Yes, the Absolutely. Happy Hob. He does every single From Software game back to back to back to back in a row without getting hit. And speed running. Can, oh, that guy. Yeah, he oh, without getting hit every guy. game in one stream. Dark Souls one, two, three. Fucking Elden Ring. Is there only like one Demon guy Souls. that has done that? I think he might be the only one mm. that's done a no, not even gotten hit once, all games in a row. That's fucking. That's, I don't know. It's insane. How? It's it's crazy to me, dude. Speaking of fucking cursed games, you guys ever seen anybody play? I want to be the Bashi. Somebody brought it up in chat. Fuck yeah, oh. way back in the day. Dude, and I, I want to be the guy. Yeah, one of my all-time favorite Twitch memories is watching Man vs. Game yes. try to beat I Want to Be the Bashi. That was like prime Twitch for me. The, so many people watched that. That was like a, that was like an event Dude. on Twitch. Dude, Man vs. Game, I haven't heard from him in like a year. He hasn't streamed in a year. He's I a have fr- no he's clue a, who that is. He is a Dude, legendary is like, streamer. <clears throat> Chat, you guys know like Man the Twitch Joe game, Montana. Right? Like that dude's like the, the dude from back yeah, in the day. He was like a no. man versus game. He's like a classic channel. Um, yeah, there's some people in your chat that probably peaked. Distortion too. I made it to Solgren. Did he peak? I mean, he was a popular streamer during Justin TV, dude. <laughs> like, yeah, he peaked years ago. I used to host E3 with man versus game in like 2014, 15. That was that's when he was like really big. Was many many years ago. What is IWBTB? Sorry? What is IWBTB? Uh, I don't know. I want to be the Boshi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Check out those games. If, you, if you're a masochist, so, check it out. I've never heard of that game. I want to be the Boshi and I want to be the guy. It's basically... A tr- it's a troll um, game. It's a troll game. It's like the hardest 2D platformer ever made. It is meant to... Mm. hit. You have to play like every input perfectly... In order to win, like it, it, you have to. It's insane. Just look it up. It's hard to explain, but it just. Insane. And you and you die over and over again to unlock like the secrets of whatever panel of the map you're on. So like, if jumping on something will trigger something that'll kill you, and then whenever you respawn in the in the corner of that part of the map, and you start jumping through it again, you know, okay, if I double jump now, I won't get killed by that spike. So then you double jump, you go to the next thing. And if you move too far to the left, something will fall on you and kill you. So now you know after the double jump, after the spike, you have to move left, left so the thing doesn't fall. And then you jump again and something else kills you. You have to keep learning yeah, trial true. and error. And it's some of it is so fucking troll and stupid. And I don't even see how anyone could get through. Like, So it's just made to piss you off. Yes, it's a 100%. troll. And there's a bunch of... Uh, like, like uh, it's, I think it's a royalty-free game. Like the guy didn't make any money from it because he uses assets from like Pokemon, yeah, like Sonic, Sonic and fucking English. Zelda, yeah. Mario, cartoons, uh, yeah, okay. fucking uh, what else? There's a bunch. There's a bunch of like cartoons and other video game media inside his game. Yeah. Like, like you fight. Other... I think he is the final boss in his own game, Solgren. I think his Solgren. name was. Yeah, it's like a salt shaker I... or something like that. Oh, but yeah. like yeah you fight like sonic you fight mega man you fight like all these like crazy characters and it's Dude, let's fucking let's yeah you got to see like a video of it how it's much f- is the final it's five minutes let's watch a quick like little let's just show the j real quick i can watch it after yeah let him watch that okay. let him watch it after. all right it is insane it's it's pretty crazy <sighs> can i smoke a cigarette on stream 
No, stop. Don't answer it. You got asked that every day. Multiple I mean, times. I could. I used to smoke cigarettes on stream, but I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. It's not good for you. I, the way they fuck, dude, I, every time I smoke a cigarette now, like when I was young, I could smoke a cigarette and I felt good and I'd fucking, you know, go out and like hit on girls or hang out with the boys and get a beer or I'd, I'd smoke pit at work or something like that. Totally felt normal smoking a cigarette. If I take a drag now today, I feel like I just fucking poisoned myself. I feel, I feel like a toxin is invading my body. I can feel it. Like the heaviness of it, the ickiness of it. It's terrible, dude. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck yeah. happened. My body does not like I that love shit. a good cigarette. I hate to say it. I I don't know, man. Ever since I, I got into vaping, I just, like, why would I want that? Like, I mean, I don't know. I feel like I get, one, a better buzz, and two, like, the fucking mouth taste afterwards. That shit just fucks me up. Uh, you ever kiss somebody right. with cigarette oh, yeah. mouth? It's the fucking worst. Oh. Yeah, it's it's terrible. I, I used to smoke a carton a week when I was in the Air Force. Fuck you that. ever been at the bar with a girl though, and then you're like out with her drinking, and then you go outside, she puts the cigarette in your mouth, lights it. It's just like you know, you know what I mean. It's just, it's like almost you're you getting just, there, getting the peak, getting the peak. You just light. do what you're told, you know? huh? Dude, when I cigarette. <laughs> oh, dude. Well, she. Why you think we're outside, bro? You know what I mean? Now, back in the day, like time. when I was a, a young lad, a single young lad, I always went for girls that smoked. I always went to the smoke pit. Look for the girls or like the back of the bar where you could smoke. Go for the girls that smoke cigarettes. They they respect themselves less. <laughs> Are you kidding me? They're killing themselves with fucking cigarettes. They'll fuck you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was my twenty two year old mindset. Oh, this girl, this girl smokes cigarettes at the bar. She's gonna be here's the girl. That was how I thought when I was twenty two, like a moron. Yeah. Some people mm. actually are just addicted to cigarettes. <laughs> They were <laughs> like, this chick's gonna be easy. She smokes and drinks at the bar. I'm like, no, it's just, it's not, it's not the yeah. right, it's not the right mindset to have. <laughs> well, I wish I never smoked. Terrible, terrible habit. It's a bad habit. No, oh, it's funny. It's a bad habit. I'm a smooth brain for that one. That's right, Fetty. Yep. I'm a sm I mean, I mean, at 22 hey. years old, young and horny and dumb. It is pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. What's the there? youngest yeah. guy in chat right now? I'm curious. There's probably like some kid in high school watching this. You gotta imagine, right? Definitely who is Fetty, for sure. Yeah, yep. probably. Yep. Yeah. Good times. All right, like anyway. TBRs, dude. <laughs> I got Dallas Blondes. Support the local brewing company. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Chat, what you guys drinking on? What you guys hitting? Water. I'm <laughs> Water. Fuck you, Jay. What a disappointment. It's okay, Fetty. I'm just teasing you. What? Yeah, we got an 18-year-old in there. Okay. Oh, we got a six-month-old watching, hanging out, dude. Out, <laughs> right. out here oh, shitting no. his diapers. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Good luck on the interview, Ace. Yeah. All right, bring your questions, folks. Can be, it can be game-related. It can be whatever. We're just chilling tonight. Nice little relaxed episode 50. All right, just because I asked it twice. Yeah, so what was my... When I knew I made a moment, probably my second day. Because I remember the first day, I got like 70 viewers, got pretty amped. The second day, I would like... I think I cracked like 200 and I, and I skipped the Vegas trip. That was literally, I was supposed to leave the day before playtest three started. So like I, I bailed on my Vegas trip and my roommate went by himself. Oh, I got my plane ticket refunded, but I, I don't remember if I paid, I want to say probably not for the hotel. Hey, that's dope. This guy says I played dab with my seven year old son. That's awesome. Hell yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's like, obviously it's violent, but you know, like, Dude, all right, you're killing dudes with swords. Yeah. yeah, who cares? Yeah. I feel like it's a little different. You're not like blowing dudes' heads off and stuff. Like, I Dude, it's fine DJ it. Wheat used to have his mini Wheat, his his son, when he was like nine, eight, ten years old, stream with him on Twitch. This guy is like a, a director at Twitch. Had his little kid on a stream and they would play every violent game ever. They would play all kinds of disgusting, <laughs> crazy shit. And his kid... All right, son, you've given the so, hooker your money. Yeah, now his run kid would just like, oh, ha, ha, this is funny. Like, yeah, it's fake, obviously. Like, people that shield their kids from, like, video game violence for, like, cartoons, or, and you're just doing them a disservice. Like, show them when they're yeah. young that it's not real, that it's entertainment, and they will grow up understanding that. If you fucking well, try yeah. to trick them, they will stay dumb longer you have to just fucking show them it's a, it's a video game it's not a big deal you guys want to hear no, something funny 
Oh, yeah. yeah. When I was a kid, my parents, uh, now this was when I was young, young, young. They would not let me and my brother watch Power Rangers because it was violent. No. <laughs> oh, no. I, I don't really think they were worried about us, like, seeing violence. They were more worried about us, like, hanging out and beating the shit out of each other because, like, we were pretty Damn. rambunctious. They're like, they're going to yeah. try karate moves on each other. Like, they are not allowed to watch Power Rangers. Dude, you yeah. remind me of my friend. His mom wouldn't let, let him watch Harry Potter ever because they were like... Harry Potter? She was like, she was like terrified yeah. of like witchcraft and she didn't want her kids watching like witchcraft shit. What? I don't know if it was ever bullshit, but I, I grew up with a guy forever. So I'm pretty sure it was the truth. Wow. I, I, I mean, I get, I've, I've, I've heard that before. Or anything. Like religious families and stuff. I've heard yeah. anti Harry Potter. I always thought that was weird though. Yeah. I mean, no you're Harry just, Potter. you're too down the rabbit hole mm -hmm. if you're not. You know, if you're anti, I mean, what is the message of Harry Potter? You know, like a guy's an orphan kid. He, he finds out he can be somebody and he like works hard and he has to, you know, like grow up to be this he like avenges person. avenges his parents yeah. by killing the murderer of his parents or whatever. Yeah. So, you know, I, I just don't think they looked into what Harry Potter <clears throat> was about. They're just like magic and say, you know, Satanism or whatever. <laughs> But yeah, my parents, my parents bought me a PlayStation 2 or they got it from like my uncle or some shit and they got me GTA. So what was GTA on PlayStation 2? GTA 2 or San Andreas, maybe? I think by I remember, San Andreas, I think and Vice City. And Vice like City. That. Yeah, yeah. I think I was in like a tank or in like a car with an RPG and I was just like running civilians over and like RPG and all the cars. My dad walked in and he saw it. He's like, what the fuck? Took it away. And I was six or seven. When I turned eight, they got me a play or uh, an Xbox 360 with Gears of War one on it, where I was chainsawing oh people in half. <laughs> Not even two years later, bro. And I was always like, you know, always like confused. But dude, yeah, I, I don't I, know. I, uh... it's not like I grew up chainsawing people, so I don't really get it. Like, yeah, I get like maybe shielding. Like, I don't know if I'd want like my kids looking at like sex stuff. You know, it's, under, that's like, a little fucking, different. Like, you know, that's different though. Yeah, like yeah. my parents didn't let me watch like the. The t I'm toxic Britney Smear uh, Britney Spears music video because she's wearing like diamonds or whatever, and you could pretty much just see her boobs and shit. When I was like six, so they let me play GTA. Uh, they wouldn't let different. me see boobs. You know what I mean? All right, hold so, on. Like, We're gonna circle uh, yeah, back I'd to this. I'd probably agree, but violence have you guys shit. kept up with Britney Spears recently? And you'll see she's, she's insane. That poor woman. Her social media. This you know what's crazy? Off. People fought so hard for Britney, like. Le Get her out of that. What what was it like? Her her manager and her what dad. Her dad? Uh, was it her some dad? conservatorship. Yeah, yeah like conservatorship. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like they owned all of her what assets. Essentially, she Just had a guardian. Ownership. They had a guardian for an adult. Like, it's oh, an adult okay. that needs a guardian. Sure. And they were like extracting money from her and like everyone in her family was taking money from her. Everyone's pissed for her. She's like, I just want to be left alone. My family's a bunch of crooks. And they're like, All right, all right, you're right, Brittany. Let's fucking let's let you free. After all these fucking years, Britney Spears, you're free. No more other adults telling you what to do. Within a year, she has gone full meltdown psycho on social media. She, I think she needed that. I don't think the public realized how insane that woman actually is. They're like, yeah, be free. And yeah. now she's free. And they're like, oh, well, she's also oh like 40, we shouldn't have right? done that. I think she's older yeah. than that. Yeah. Mid 40s or some shit, late yeah. 40s. But yeah, I think I think there was a mistake. Maybe she actually now her now her family stealing from her is wrong. That's sad, yes. and I feel bad for her. But yeah. she clearly has like some issues, big time, like big time. What well, was yeah, okay? Well, I guess getting manipulated for like forty five years or something. What was too. weird about it? Yeah, that's true. Was that mm -hmm. she was like under a conservatorship where it was like okay, clearly you're mentally ill to the point where you should not be managing your own money and like taking care of yourself, etc. But also, yeah, like we're still going to... Right? It's court thing. Gotcha. But they were doing that, but then also they're like, okay, Brittany, you're going to go perform in Venezuela in a concert for millions of people, and you're going to do something. It's like, that's kind of weird. Like, if she's that off the rails, like, she shouldn't be performing and making money. Well, she's you know the I mean? product. Of course, they're going to yeah, do that. That's, they, that's, that's, that's the where only it got weird way to me. keep it going. They, yeah. I mean, control her, fill her up with drugs, keep her away from certain things, tell her whatever she has to hear. You got to get her out on stage. You got to collect that ticket money, baby. That merchandise uh, money. Obviously, Britney Sad. Spears would be a bard in uh, Dark and Darker, obviously. Be a bard. Yeah. Elvish. Yeah. Elvish bard, for sure. Elven skin. You know. All right. Nice, hot, pointy. Somebody ears. asked in chat, dude. The soulless blue eyes. The barely blink as they look. Oh, our boy K-Balls, dude. K-Balls. What's up, K-Balls? 
Um, Barbarian laughing British depressed Spears? says at Shea Griff, yeah. What's your opinion on the Wizards' new perk? Do you find it weird that they're focusing on buff and melee instead of the core class's identity? Uh, no. I think it's cool. Ignite, Ignite needed a little something, I guess. I think it's badass. I went in as a, a wizard with all the defensive perks and haste and viz, slow, fireball, and ignite, and then like fire mastery, and then the arcane armor skill. I was fucking people up. Two, three hits, and the amount of damage you absorb is incredible. And if you slow someone and oh, just yeah. run in, if you're ignited, hit someone with a slow run in and hit them twice in the head, they're... You're maybe half dead if they hit if they hit you in the head twice. But with all of your stuff, all your cooldowns procced, your skill hit, they don't kill you. And they fucking die fast. It's very, very powerful. It's fun, man. Yeah, it's kind of a left field one, but it's nice, I guess, to have. It Apparently, does make arcane shield and shit much better. And ignite much better. Yeah. Um, someone was saying that sword mastery perk is not that great for longsword apparently with the impact power thing it makes the window to parry repost or to repost after parry so mm -hmm. tight like if you're not <clears throat> spamming right click the second it hits you'll miss it because it i guess it speeds it up significantly apparently augie was yeah it might also mess it. with like what weapons you can parry maybe possibly a hundred percent like a few days ago before the hot fixes I was destroying shit. My demigod run was easy. Like, I was going to be done. I would have been demigod by now. And then the hot fixes hit. The rotation map, the classic and rotation map changes happened. And now, like, everything is way harder. Way harder. I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going on with it. But it doesn't feel the same as it did a few days ago. Yeah, I haven't tried it. What's the first game you guys ever played? Duck Hunt yeah, in 1989. I think it was Mario. I like four years old at my 80 year old neighbor's house. It was an alcoholic smoker. <laughs> I like whatever whatever console it was. Probably NES. Yeah, probably there's isn't more that of weird? the story. He's like, nah, he was probably like 70. All he did was drink beer, smoke cigarettes, and like the whole, because I lived on like a one street, you know? Well, there's like a lot of them, but like. All the kids on the one street, we'd always go to his house, some like 70 year old dude's house, and play whatever console at NES or whatever. I had Mario at like four years old. The seven year old never, like parents he, knew? Yeah, he was like, he lived across the street. Oh, uh, so he was like, he a literally cool lived guy. like in between everybody. Pretty so much, he, he, he the was the houses. cool old timer that the parents were good with. Okay. Yeah, but all I did was drink beer and smoke cigarettes. You know, I guess I was fine in like the, the late 90s. I, I think, think like the, the first games. Yeah, smoking cigarettes 25 years ago was like normal. Sorry, yeah. go ahead, Donnie. No, you're good. I think the first games I remember playing was like the PlayStation 1. Something like some racing game. I have like a very vivid memory of me being a kid and like my dad rage quitting some fucking driving game on the PlayStation 1. Just like he was about to throw his controller and he's like, Daniel, throw me a pillow. And I was like, all right, I threw him a pillow. And he just like threw his controller off the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> just rage quit of this fucking game I was like, All right, cool. <laughs> I, uh, I had my kid looking at me as I was playing a game he was just like playing on the floor and I was playing like TFT or something like that and like I was about to like win first place in a match and at the last second the last round I got second place and the guy beat me and I was like fuck and I was about to shout out fuck and like because I was mad because I won the first place and I was, I was about to like pump my fist in there and shout fuck. I looked at the baby and the baby's looking right at me with a big smile. And I was like, ah, <laughs> had to <laughs> stop myself from screaming at a video game like a psycho in front of my kid. Jeez. Terrible. Yeah, that's, not, that's not the kind of shit you want to instill into a baby. Screaming at yeah. a screen. It's like, what are you fucking yeah. yelling at? There's no one in here except me, a fucking psycho. Yeah, like that kind of shit. Like when you, that kind of, that kind of shit kind of wakes you up. To how psycho you can be sometimes whenever there's like another person watching you. I don't know, especially a baby. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. All right, let's get. Oh, laughing to press, gifted a T1 to Augie. There you go, Augie. Enjoy. I remember playing Mario 64 with my pops and we waited in line to get an N64 and release and set it up right away the next day. Nice. 
Very nice. The first console I owned on my own was an N was an, a Super Nintendo SNES. One of the best consoles of all time, man. Shit was yeah. awesome. So good. SNES. Like an old dude. Dude, you never played Super Nintendo? That was like <laughs> the best. It was so uh, many I played N64 a lot. Games. Sure, N64 as well. Yeah, Super Nintendo and N64. Super... What a golden era. And then I, I didn't have a PS2, but I consider the PS2 like a game changer in the video game industry. SNES, N64, PS2. Those three GameCube. consoles. GameCube, sure. GameCube is pretty fire. Yeah, GameCube, honorable mention in terms of game changer. I, I agree with that for sure. I played Turok back in the day, shooting dinosaurs and shit. That was Turok. with the ragdoll physics. So good, man. You ever played Turok Dinosaur Hunter? You're like a Native American uh, guy and you have like futuristic weapons, but also like a bow. And you fight like mm. people from the future and dinosaurs. It sounds insane. It's good as fuck. Nope. It was so good. There was like a weapon where you sh I think this is the right game. I, th I might chat, correct me if I'm wrong. But wasn't there a weapon in Turok where you actually shoot out like insects that like slowly eat or like bite the target to death? And like they pump out of this gun. Is that my thing in the right game? Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, no idea. There was some of the coolest guns I've ever seen in any video game ever in Turok. It was ridiculously cool. I highly recommend checking it out. Even just wa like watching a YouTube video of like end game Turok guns and shit dude it was so good and I, yeah someone just said Half-Life I remember when I was like I don't know 11 or 12 when I beat Half-Life on PC that game scared the fuck out of me it took me months as a little kid to beat that game because it was so hard and I was just yep. scared I was so, like as a little kid scared playing that game you ever play Half-Life Jay? never God damn, that original game. Not that, a single one. That was one of the best PC games I ever played as a kid. It, it blew me away. I didn't, I didn't think that you could tell a story and have characters like that in a game. Like I didn't, I didn't know that, was, like, that video games were capable of that. It was so fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. No, I've never been remember, blown away by a game like single player campaign was or anything. I don't think. Really? Nope. Dude, I remember... The first game that I was too scared to play, I got the uh, Fallout 3 when Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition first came out. I think I was like 10 or 12 years old. Dude, I couldn't play that fucking game. Because, like, you know, you guys you guys ever played Fallout 3 when you got to go find 3-Dog? Mm -hmm. Never. Yeah. So you got to go through, like, the sewers of DC. And I goes fine. I was like, all right, there's, like, bugs and stuff. And then it got dark and there were ghouls running at me. I was like 10 or 12 years old. I just fucking shit my pants and didn't play the game for, like, four years. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, dude! I, Fallout Three, bro. The Fallout mo Three, dude. The scary. most scared I've ever been from a video game was Resident Evil Two when I was a, a young whippersnapper, and I can't remember what I was playing on. I think it was like N sixty four. Like I rented the N sixty four port of Resident Evil Two, which is ridiculous. But I was playing it, and there's a point in Resident Evil Two where you're in a police station, and you know, like the double sided mirrors in a police station, like interrogation rooms. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So there's one point where you're in the interrogation room and you can see through the, the mirror and you can see on the other side and you can see a key shining on a shelf. And you're like, fuck, I got to get that key eventually. And it takes hours, but eventually you get to the other side of the police station and you're able to get to that room. And you go in that room and when you finally hours later get to that room, you can walk in and get that key. And obviously there's a mirror, right? Like you're not on, you're on the, mm -hmm. other, the mirror side. And as you pick up the key and start to walk back, a liquor jumps through the window. So suddenly you're like walking by this window. It's a reflection, this mirror. And then a liquor jumps through and breaks the mirror. And you have to fight this, this liquor in a very, very tiny room. I fucking screamed and threw my controller up and I screamed bloody murder. My mom comes <laughs> running in. She's like, I knew that I shouldn't have rented that game for you. You're too young for this. I need to, I need to change. I think I'm going to change your mind on video games and what I let you play. <laughs> this is not okay. And I was like, hold on a second. I reloaded the game, went back to that point, went to pick up the key while she was, I was like, sit here with me. Went and picked up, <laughs> went and picked up that fucking key, started walking back. The liquor jumps through the window. She fucking screamed. I was like, huh? 
maybe you're too fucking young to be playing this game too. And she was like, <laughs> she's like, fine. It's a scary part of the game. And I was like, yeah, leave me the fuck alone. Don't take my video games away. It was you're scary, mom, really motherfucker. On. She sat next to me. She sat next Play to me. The game, huh? I played it. I played it. I was like, let me show you what I yelled at. No, I was like, man. I was like 12 or 13. I was like, let me show you why I was scared. And then she screamed. I was like, I fucking told you. <laughs> yeah. Video games are scary. Now, dude, being a kid and playing scary video games, peak, peak times of like video gaming experience. Hell yeah. Peak times. So good. Um, oh, yeah. Fear. Do you guys remember that? Shooter Fear? Fear is scary. That was you guys ever cool. play the old, uh, what was that dino game where you're like, you're secret agents, you get on an island and it's like overrun by dinosaurs? And it's uh, it's like Resident Evil kind of looking, but there's dinosaurs coming at you. I forget the name of it. I'm gonna chat on now. Dino Crisis, like Dino um, Dino Crisis, Dino yes. Crisis? But isn't we were playing like a... the first? Yeah, Dino Crisis. Yeah, the first Dino Crisis scared the shit out of me. Couldn't play that fucking game. Chat, did you guys ever think that we were we would be able to milk a dark and darker podcast fifty episodes? All right. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys milking them, dude? <laughs> we used to milk it back in the day. Do you remember that? I mean, we've talked about this before. There was a stretch there for like. We were just chilling. What were there was a about? 20 episode stretch, Jay, where I was like, we literally have nothing. I make, we're going yeah. over Dungeons and Dragons spells, guys. That's my, big, <laughs> that's my big idea for the podcast. You guys are like, what? Like, I got nothing. It's got good. Nothing. <clears throat> We made it happen, dude. We made it happen. It's basically learning history. Or you know, or the future. (coughs) Precisely. That's what the darkest hour is gonna be. It's gonna be a D and D podcast at one point. (laughs) (laughs) I was thinking about it like two days ago. I'm like, damn, you know, it'd be nice to play a D and D campaign. I love it. Yeah. D and D is so fun. I would I would play a second. would hit the same. Oh, it's the bat dude, it's so good. I don't know. I this sounds crazy. I almost, at this point, prefer playing D&D in Discord with the homies using uh, Foundry as opposed to like trying to get everyone to show up at like a living room or a dining room once a week. Because whenever you have to travel yeah. to an in-person game, the excuses come out the woodwork. Because motherfuckers don't want to shower, put on some sweatpants, and leave their house. They just want to fucking beat off and pass out with their joint All right. they don't want to fucking well, the, they don't want to leave the house the problem is you're not going to run a D&D campaign on like a Saturday or like a Sunday so whenever you're running on like a Tuesday or like a Thursday you know you get off work you're like fuck you know it's like a whole thing so I want to go play D&D for four hours well so yeah. we play four hours every Monday and people are willing to play for four hours every Monday if they can keep if they can just fucking wear their PJs instead of their computer without a cam on but if you have to like yeah. drive to the dude's house and it's like you have to hang out in person, like yes, that is like the ultimate way to play. Like, don't get me wrong, I love it. But it's but you always have cancellations and people backing out when it's in person. Rarely the case when it's online. Can I can I just point out a, a chat comment? <clears throat> sure. What's wrong with beating off and passing out? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. It's my personal national pastime. I don't know. Nothing wrong with it. Do what you got to do. Uh, do what you got to do to tucker yourself out uh, there, sailor. It's okay. Oh man. Christ. <laughs> that might that might be to ask you fart for me. That might be up. That's up there. That's up there. <laughs> wow. You really love that ask you fart. Ask you, dude. Ask you fart when the devs are on the podcast. Wild move. I mean, I bet that guy got perma banned, but. Fucking Christ. What a Dude, soldier. It's not Mario riding a giant cock. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not <sure>. <laughs> <laughs> um. That's funny. Um, no, that's a no. true Mona Lisa right there. Someone said just play BG3 with mods. Could you imagine being a kid? You're like 15, 16, and you're playing video games and you get to play Baldur's Gate 3. It's like your first big RPG you get into, dude. Amazing. How fucking spoiled would you? Oh my God so good crazy i don't think i played a single rpg wow really rpgs are good man you gotta like get some wow, escapism of course or runescape i used to be obsessed with like secret of mana nope. chrono trigger earthbound super mario nope. rpg like these old school rpgs dude god damn that shit was good who remembers oh, wait, earthbound I played paper mario if that counts 
and uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, Super Mario and Sunshine, Tales of I'd Symphonia. say. But that shit, I played it so long, I don't even remember any any part of the game. You know, except RPG like mild flash pack, a flash pack <sighs> shoom. You guys ever played for like multiplayer though? Yeah. Earthbound now. Earthbound was sure. it was a it was a RPG where you were basically like a regular human kid, and aliens are invading Earth, and you have to like go out and like you use a bat. Your name is Ness, and you have a baseball bat, and you have to like fill out your party like there's like this nerdy guy that you find uh there's a chick that you find what are you like talking a, about it's called earthbound it's just like an rpg no, it's never so heard of good it. it's so good it up. <clears throat> classic how have you only yeah. played games i've never heard of because i'm way older than you <laughs> <laughs> yeah Donnie's lucas in the same boat he's like i, I know that <sighs> game yeah that game yeah i Luke, didn't play this game Donnie, no. you're 26 yeah about turned 26 25 yeah no oh. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I got 12 years on you, on you guys. So I, I was doing different shit. But yeah, I mean, I remember no shit playing Atari. I mean, Atari was considered old at that point. <clears throat> but I did play Pong on Atari for sure. That, I mean, this is when I was like... like I play uh, Pong at the barcade because it's a vintage. P dude, Pong drunk with buddies is fun, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, I fuck with Pong. No hate him. Yeah, my buddy Chris got an Atari at a uh, garage sale. Brand new inbox for like $5, which is insane. Like <clears throat> some old lady didn't know what she was selling. Imagine if he held that until now. Well, he, he bought it. I was there when he bought it. I went with him and his dad. Yeah. He bought the Atari. We took it home, took it out of the box. We played Pong. That was like the only time I ever saw an Atari and played it was that one time. Because I think the dad, Chris's dad, realized uh, what he had. And then like four months later... I woke up in the middle of the night to police sirens and Chris lived across the street, two houses down. And I wake up in the middle of the night, I hear these sirens and I look out my window and the SWAT team was breaking into Chris's house and they arrested his dad. And I never saw Chris or his family again. For what? Whoa. Don't know. You don't know what you for? You didn't ask your mom? She didn't know? No one knew. Never saw them again. So your neighbor just gets SWAT <coughs> arrested and gone. Poof. Yep. I tell this story all the time. I don't know if I told you story. Yeah, never saw him again. But I was in, I was in the Boy Scouts, and so we had this one scoutmaster, Mister <clears throat> Denny. Every fall, Mister Denny would make just the most fire, like the most delicious uh, ribs. He'd like smoke ribs for like the whole scout troop. Everybody would fucking buy it. And it would be so cool. And then I remember like a couple of years go by, and I'm like, dude, are we gonna get Mister Denny's ribs this November, Mom? Like, what are we doing? She's like, oh. Honey, take a seat. <laughs> Mr. Denny got arrested for having child porn on his computer. He is, he is not going to be selling any more ribs. And I was like, uh, oh, cool. Jesus. Yeah. Boy Scouts. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Boy Scouts and the Catholic Church. Peas and carrots, man. Let me tell you. Wow. Oh, dude, we double yeah. dipped. Our Boy Scouts troop <laughs> met at a Catholic church. All right. Oh, so, no. Oh, of course. Somebody there. <laughs> a safe haven for the Scouts to play. Yeah, of course. Of course you did. Yeah. Yeah. Tire open this, kid. Yeah, of course. It's fucking creepy. Yeah. Thank, yeah. thank God. Jesus I've Christ. never had any, uh, like, creeps, you know, like that. I don't know what else you'd call him. I mean, I didn't know the uh, guy. I just knew he made good ribs. So, yeah, I don't think I've ever like known any people that have, you know, yeah, you hope not. weird shit. That's good. I just live in like <clears throat> Washington, where there's just like serial killers. That's pretty much all we got up here, I think. I had a friend. You know, uh, California. Oh, go ahead. I had a when I my dad was stationed in uh, Road of Spain in the Navy. I was there like ten, eleven, twelve, and I had a, a friend. And his name was Kyle, and his family sponsored my family. So his dad, his, Kyle's dad was also in the Navy. And when you show up to a new base, you have a, a sponsor family that, like, shows you around. And, like, hey, this is where the grocery store is, and we'll show you the local area and shit like that. Especially for... Tour. Yeah, it's like an overseas kind of a thing, like when you're, when you're in Europe or Asia. Yeah, and okay. uh, they were our sponsor family, was Nick's family. And they were super cool. And he was like a popular kid and I was not. <laughs> so we didn't become, we didn't stay friends very long when he realized what I was and I realized what yeah. he was, but we were sure. always cool. Like for, for the three years I was there, like we were always cool. Like, Oh yeah, I'm, I sponsor your family. We're cool. But 
years later, <clears throat> my mom sends me a text with a picture of this guy, Nick, older, looking insane. And I was like, what the fuck? What's, what is this picture? It's like, he was on a plane. The plane lands. Apparently, this was a picture of an, a news article. She sent me the article after she told me the story. This guy was on a plane. Plane lands. Cops come on board, and a, and a marshal come on board the plane, arrest this guy. He puts up a fight, tries to fight the, the cops on the plane. They pull him off. He was a child porn guy, too, and they caught him, and he was trying to run. Yeah. This is my friend in elementary mm. school. That's tough, man. All these yeah. years later. And apparently he had, like, fucked around with, like, his fa like family members and like all kinds of shit. What the fuck? Ugh. What the fuck? That's someone I used to play with as a kid. Like, you never know when people are going to turn into monsters, dude. It's fucking crazy. Why are we yeah. talking about this? What happened? Who asked the question know. about child porn? <laughs> Fuck you, Nobody. Shatter. No one did, yeah. <laughs> Let's change <laughs> the subject immediately. Yeah, please. Someone yeah, asked that a was question. Depressing. Super Anyways. depressing. Yeah, that guy's in prison forever, by the way. So, yeah. Nerf and Barb. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Barbs are so burly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. lizard revert yeah. why does everybody hate the lizard the lizard change I don't hate it like everyone's like hating on the lizard thing I, I feel like lizard's just a meme, just a yeah. meme. it's a meme skin it's the yeah. normals god class yeah and, nor and norms a, a is lizard funny. and yeah. roller it's either a free kill or he's just, he's just built different or yeah he's just built different <laughs> built different that's yeah. funny. There's not just one guy. There's like at least every 10 minutes, there's somebody I go, when are we changing lizard bag? Like, come on. Man. I don't know. Dude, I want to see, I want to see a wizard with staff mastery run illusory. The, the name staff ignite bonk build. Just casting slow going That's invisible. Way to do it. Dude, you cast slow on a motherfucker while you're ignited. You're invisible. Dart to the right, go in, smack him in the head, back out, slow him again, invisible again. How are, they, how are you supposed to kill that? With all the defensive perks on? Or you smack him twice, call it a day. Not necessarily. <laughs> Not if they have that arcane shield thing procced. It does, it does soak up some significant No, damage. I'm saying as the wizard, you just smack him twice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah stat master is cool, man. It was. It was pretty I really fun fucked around with it. Probably you should. I think it somebody, out, especially if you have a loosery, like just go crush everyone. Yeah, I think somebody in chat said a really good point. They're like, because um, y'all were talking about the the new wizard perk and stuff, and people were complaining. But it was like, dude, any new way to play a class is just a good change. Like any more different yes. way to like enjoy yourself. Like that's a good. Yeah. That's awesome. I agree. Enjoy that. I agree. Yeah. What do, you guys, wrong. what do you guys think is the best solo class in general? Just best solo class in the game right now. PvP, PvE, bossing, just, just surviving alone. Is it not just barbs though? Probably Warlock, I would say. I think it's Warlock, personally. Yeah. Yeah. Warlock with, with a good, decent kit on and some decent magical healing. And just Don't get me wrong, I placement. like Warlock, but... You just die to a rogue if they're running cutthroat, which most of them do, I think. Yes, that is yeah. true. I'm talking overall soloing PvE. I yeah, think if any class just dies, it's not good. Not not the best person. I think. Yeah, that's true. But can a rogue like solo Barb doesn't a lich? just die and they can kill everybody, right? Can a rogue solo a lich? Well, I mean every class can, but it's a pain in the fucking ass. A rogue can solo the lich. I want to watch that stream. Maybe. I'll watch that probably. stream. I'll tell uh, you what. Repos if you no nah, fuck repos. If, <laughs> Jay, if Jay Griffia can solo an HR Lich kill. Yeah, it's probably. I probably I will gift five subs to Jay Griffia. You give me a gear sub to do it. A what? You What'd you say? Let's do it, chat. You give me a gear set, I'll just do it. That's funny that you think I have gear. I'm I'm way wealthier in real life than I am in game. Let me tell you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. Are you kidding me? I'm yeah, a, on I'm a, a road, solo you could probably, shitter. You could probably kill the skell the archer skellies pretty quick, and then just play around the melee. Chad, I need backup here. It wouldn't be too bad. Chad, help me out. Do you think Jay could do it? It doesn't matter though. Why? This is a personal challenge. What soloing lich? Every class can solo ghost king. 
Ghost King's different than Lich. Uh, maybe like two people in the game can solo Warlord. Yeah, hey, you know. Hey guys, maybe a guys, you want to you want to farm some easy podcast content? Yeah. Listen, chat. Wait, why are you looking around, Sam? Just say yes. Sure. <laughs> you think the fans are gonna bust in your door. <laughs> Listen, if somebody in chat gets on a rogue, you post a YouTube video of you soloing the Lich. We'll have you on the podcast. Boom, we'll talk about it. Easy. Man, it really depends on who that person is. It sounds like a terrible <laughs> idea. I'm that sounds, you think so? That, that scares the fuck out of me. Yeah. You think he's gonna come on like talk Nazi shit? Like <laughs> he's gonna talk about his rogue. It's funny you should say that, Donnie. I remember I was streaming Dark and Darker with a couple of people, and a chatter was like, hey, if you need a third, I'd love to come on. I said, sure, join us in Discord. Guy gets into Discord. We start playing, our third, and we're crushing it. Our third match, we're doing so well. And I'm looking at his name, and someone in chat's like, what's up with his name? I was like, and his name was Pure Blood, mm. Pure Blood with, a, with an eight oh, for the B. And someone was like, what does his name mean? I was like, yeah, what does your name mean, pure blood with an eight? He was like, what do you think it means? I was like, what are you, a Nazi or something? Ha <laughs> ha. He was like, yep. Oh. You're okay. an actual pure Nazi. Pure right. a Nazi? All right. Yeah, couple, he was couple. like, yes, I am a Nazi. I live in Parma, Ohio. And yes, my family is Nazis. And yes, my, oh. name, my name is pure blood. And yes, this is, this is what it is. I was like, well, that just <laughs> killed the fucking mood. You're a good player, and I no longer can play with you. And guess what? Yeah. After I kicked him out, I lost every match after that. It's true. Mm. German efficiency. I lost it. I don't know. But it was worth okay. it. It's a joke. But it was definitely worth kicking uh, him out because he's a terrible person for being a Nazi. All right, couple, yeah. couple of qualifiers. Yeah. High roller, soloed as a rogue, can't be a Nazi. Boom. We're good, dude. We're <laughs> solid. <laughs> We're good. I want to guess about... Four thousand dog breeds before a Nazi. I would have never known that. It was a Nazi, dude. It was a Nazi from Ohio, and I was like, "What a Wait, shame!" Is that what pure blood is supposed to be, or something? Pure blood, like yeah. white pure blood shit. Like, yeah, dude. Yeah, like white supremacists. Oh. Fucking creepy yeah. shit, dude. Yeah. 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 Not cool. So yeah, you never know who's gonna be good at the game and complete your challenge, Donnie. Fair. You never know. So uh, maybe not. <laughs> okay all right well there you go yeah you never know um has there been any discussion about map design right now they're all module based you for seer would you want a more open world map design 100 percent, yes that's from mild raccoon um cheap and and i've sold the lich many times on my warlock it's not that hard even on hr it's harder on hr but you can do it for sure oh. um but anyway um yeah I, so what do you guys think about modules and whatnot, the map design? Um, I mean, I, I've said this. I, said, I think I said this last podcast. Uh, if they make a new map, which I hope they do, I would like for them to just make a dope map. Forget about the modules because I'm kind of it's kind of getting tiring, like going all the doors and all that stuff. Like, let's just make a dope map sure. and let me play that dope map. And you guys just design the coolest, best shit for like map flow and how you think players are going to be and player spawns and stuff like that. And let's just play it. That's what I think Ice Abyss is going to be. I think they're going to try something new with the Abyss. That's my guess. Yeah, it's, it's also like, why modules, right? It's probably because they wanted to do like random gen and it seems easier. Yeah. And now they just are like stuck with it. You know what I mean? Rather than just like designing a map, I guess. Yeah, you don't would, have to be stuck with it, Iron Maze. Because it, it was a design like decision. Born. Go ahead, yeah, sir. Dungeon Born's got like a, it's like a map, right? I haven't, I've only seen like a 10 second clip, but. I mean, people keep talking about like their map design being like the one good thing that they have. So I don't know myself, but from what it sounds like in the 10 seconds I saw, it seems just like a normal map, like any other game, rather than just a bunch of Legos put together, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think, I mean, cool. I think the module design is like just literally in their design philosophy. It's like, hey, this is the system we have. It's working and we can get content out by following this path. And I understand that. I get why they're doing it. I agree. The module system, like, it works for something like Crips. But, like, an, an outside map, like Runes, it starts to, like, seem a little weird. Goblin Caves, you're like, all right, I kind of get it with this. With Caverns, I will say with Ice Caverns. It also caverns, creates, 
a lot of like limitations i bet yes you know having to build like that i will say with ice yeah. caverns they do have super modules there's a couple of places in ice caverns where it's like four modules in one it's like a giant room those are yes. those are some of my favorite places to play in ice caverns is the gigantic modules but yeah i, I would like to see like a just a big like imagine the ice village isn't like the same modular thing what if it's just a big open ice what if it's just a big open village like here like is some the, woods surrounding here's, it. Yeah, here's the fence that surrounds the village. Bam, you can just walk through the village and go wherever you want. There's buildings, there's stuff there's stuff to do. It's not a module system with doors. You can just run through the village and you have to get out. Yeah, That'd dude, you put like a like a mountainous area to the north, but like some woods to the south. Uh maybe do like an old battlefield or like a graveyard and then have the village in the middle. And that's where all the good loot's at, and everyone goes to the middle. Boom. Well, yeah, I mean it's they're they're all going to be connected, right? It's it's ice caverns, ice village, ice abyss. So yeah, the village will have to be next to the caves, and then there's going to be reds in the caves. There's an elevator down in the village, down to the caves. Yes, exactly, yeah, exactly. There you go. What do you guys think ice abyss is going to look like? Because that I I think they really have to crush it with the the new blue. iteration of hell. Mm -hmm. Blue. <laughs> it's going to be blue. <laughs> um... Fuck, I don't know. It'd be kind of fun if it was like kind of misty, kind of hard to see. Might be kind of kind of fun, like ice misty. You know, you're in like a like a freezer kind of room type vibes. Mm. Sure. Kind of cool. W. Bab said a vampire castle map would be sick. I was talking to my that buddy, my buddy earlier in Discord. I think a really good uh, three map, uh, I guess, pool would be medieval village, castle grounds, and like a courtyard. So, like, you fight through the village, you get to the castle. When you get to the castle, you fight around the castle grounds. And that's, like, the second map. And then the third and final map would be the castle itself. That'd be hell for that, for that map module. And the castle it would be a vampire's castle. So there's, like, undead yeah. and shit. And, like, maybe there's, mm -hmm. uh, um, like, animated objects, like, <clears throat> like uh, walking suits of armor and, like, uh, shit like that. And, like... Uh, false paintings and like false rooms and stuff like that. Maybe in the mimic paintings would be fun. Sure, you like walk by it, it jumps off the wall and attacks you. Yes, a mimic painting in the courtyard and in in map two. Maybe there's like a labyrinth or something like a hedge maze. Ooh, stuff like hedge that. maze. And then yeah, and then like the final boss in the castle would be like a vampire or something like that. Yeah, you find him in like the dungeon of the castle or the throne room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it'd be fun to go up. That'd be fun. A little change. Yeah. You go up and up in the in the vampire castle. Yeah. But that could be cool too. I still think Mage Tower would be sick too. It's just a yeah. standalone Mage Tower thing. Like a like maybe maybe Mage Tower is endless floors. Like you just keep going and going and going and going until you want to get a portal out. That'd be cool. Like uh, what was that wow thing? The thing is what was the Tower was the wow? Orgast. Yeah. Orgast, exactly. yeah. That'd be cool. What about connecting a map to multiple other maps, like getting crypts and ice caverns from Ice Village? I that's like the the end game Tarkov approach, where all of the maps that's are connected. Stupid. I feel like I see your point. I see how that could be really cool if everything's connected. But there's a part of me that kind of likes everything being sequestered away from each other in their own little pockets, like all the goblin shits over here. If I want to deal with that crap, I will. If I want to do all ice stuff, I have that choice. If I want to do ruins, hell, crypts, I'll just go do that. <clears throat> I kind of like I kind of like that system. I don't really want it all connected. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of sounds a little awful. If it was all connected, what? Yeah, yeah, it's just tedious. I don't want to. Do that. <clears throat> I don't think this game needs to be Tarkov. Like it doesn't, and and look, Tarkov to begin with has some stupid design shit. Like you just you don't need to follow them. They have cool ideas, but the way they implement a lot of stuff is just stupid. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I actually said earlier. I was like, damn, they're taking the Tarkov route, which is just terrible. Which is like shit on ninety nine percent of the players for what one percent does. Now yeah. I now if I leave a, a game because I'm like ah maybe I'll bring some boots this time when I pickpocket instead. Oh five minute wait. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, nice. Oh, I still can't spectate. Oh, nice. And yeah. I can only play one map again, which I guess is what we asked for. But 
the rotation thing man it's it's terrible like right now my only option to grind demigod is goblin cave trio and ice cave trio because if i go into ruins trio i get ken kenobi within two minutes so i can't yeah. i can't go in there <clears throat> i can't go in there with two teammates <laughs> it's just not worth it you just get literally obliterated by by the top one percent waiting is Someone said, uh, some chatter fuck the other day was like, Ruins just encourages too much PvP. I might agree. I'm starting to, like, almost hate Ruins again. Went from hating it to, like, kind of liking it. Now I'm, like, getting sick of it. You think it's too much PvP? Bro, I was just playing Ranger. Granted, we were playing double Ranger fighter, I think. Yeah. And we were on the bridge, and they were in the middle. And I shit you not, for five minutes, we just shot arrows at each other. It's like, holy fuck, dude. sucks, man. My God! Literally five minutes. Like, <clears throat> that's just. Yeah. I guess that's kind of what it's just evolved into. Maybe it's not the map's fault. I don't know. Maybe it's like the player's fault. But my goodness, ranged meta shit, man. And, it, and it's they like have a ranger, they have a wizard, and a rogue. So it's like if we push into them, we're probably just gonna die. And if they push into us, we got what two was rangers. Build? What was y'all's two ranger setup? fighter? Two ranger fighter, yeah. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. Just AFK I guess you would get the minutes. same shit in Crips, but Crips at least, like, uh, you know, maybe has, like, more different routes, you know, you can take. And maybe it really is just because you can, like, skip doors and shit, you know, in Crips. In yeah. some areas, way easier. Like, you pull a dog on Ruins, you're not going to open the door before he fucks you up for half your health and stuff, so. Yeah. I don't know. Right. It's getting kind of old over Ruins PvP. Yeah. What do you yeah. what do you think about uh just ice caverns in general overall, Jay? As like a as like a top player who actually gets to the gold pile and engages in PvP. I actually do like the map, but um Yeah. Being it's fifty no... mobs every time you're around the corner is not great. But I get it yeah. for now. Mm. Tone it down like twenty percent. Just twenty percent less mobs. Not a lot. It's too much. Just yeah. Just like two less per room, just so you can move a little bit better. Sure. I like I like the Windigo. It's fun fighting Windigos. Or cool. if you're gonna make those kobolds spawn like they do, make them less health, so that way you can just kind of roll through them. That'd be fun. That'd, be, that'd feel good to just whack those fuckers like two shot them or like one shot them. Yeah, it's that's fine, but you're still gonna get in the situation. You accidentally pull like three archers and then you're just fucked. You know what I mean? Like you don't realize yeah. or something. The kobold yell. Man, I swear to God, if like if you get unlucky, you you will just fight cobalt after cobalt one at a time, mind you, for like five fucking minutes straight. As soon as you're done killing something, the next dumb motherfucking cobalt runs up in aggro range, and then you have to kill him. The second you're done yeah. killing him, you're getting shot out by the next cobalt, and then you kill him, and he does his little tantrum, and he screams. And as you're looting him, the next one comes. I fought uh, like a string of like a dozen kobolds multiple times where it just takes so long because they come one at a time. And, and you don't really get a chance to stop. I don't know. It's pretty, pretty annoying. Yeah. But I love the Ice Caverns. I think it's, I think it's, I, I, I would say it's my favorite map by far overall. I like the no Dark Swarm thing. I'm cool with like the slowdown hit on from mobs. It makes sense to me that like a blue skeleton would like slow you down with a sword strike. I'm cool with that. I like the static exits. I like the boats in the elevator. I like the windigos. I just overall the giants are cool. I I, yeah. I don't know. Overall, I just really like it a lot. I think it's a great map. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. The damage at the end is a little lame. <clears throat> no, can't stealth and stuff. Oh yeah, that's true. It's only like the last minute or two, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. but at that point, you're just beelining it to an exit anyway. Mm -hmm. Ice caverns is level two of three. There'll be ice village at level one, and then the ice abyss at level three. How I picture the ice abyss, I don't. I'm probably like way off, but in my mind, I see like a pitch black sky and horizon and like just like snowy dust and a blizzard and just like a white snowy hellscape with a black sky and you're just like in this abyss of of cold 
fighting mobs as, yeah. you, as you try to as you try to get out and then eventually actual you, hell but ice exactly just black sky endless black horizon on a tundra just sludging your way through like all these hardcore mobs to try to escape i could be Didn't way we wrong. just complain about mob density <laughs> yes but let's be real here let's be really honest here the first iteration of the hell version for the ice module map thing is going to be fucking hard. It's going to be mob dense. It's going to be annoying. I can't wait. It's going to be great, but it's going to be hard. Yeah, I think three levels is too much. Three I think levels? for the game, unless they want to change up some of the systems, I think I think two levels is probably the sweet spot. Do like a yeah, regular and a hell level. I disagree. I think three levels is actually good. The thing is, you need to open up the second level sooner, and you need to give better incentive to continue playing on the first level. Whether that's, I don't know, like points of interest that can help you in future layers, like in, in the crypts or in hell, or really, really cool mobs that drop really interesting reagents or gear, mm -hmm. or um, really interesting quests that require you to do something in the ruins, or the, or the first tier of a map. Here's my issue with three levels. One, whenever you go to level two, after that, PvE farming. You're not fighting anybody. You do. It's the super juicy squad that runs you down and kills you. It's just PvE farming or the juicers. And then two, it's so punishing, dude. If you spend fucking 30, 40 minutes in these raids where you're like, you're like really farming out everything and then you die in like hell, like, and you get nothing, like, it fucking blows. It's like, yeah, oh, I do that Jesus. like all day. Yeah. <laughs> I think they got to just change some of the systems. Like, give me more players in level two, like Riku, like merge lobbies, or, uh, you know, give me like some sort of insurance thing where I get like my items back after 10 minutes. That'd be nice. And that way you don't feel just completely boned for wasting 30 minutes of your life, you know? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Because, I mean, level two, like, I mean, you guys go to Crips. How often do you get PvE in, I mean, PvP in Crips? Like I said, I haven't fought a player in four days. Yeah. Say a solid 20 to 30% of the time, there's somebody in Crips. You know who that person is? Some fucking rogue. Yeah, some rat just farming AP. And so it's, it's not like, I just don't think it's the intended experience. It's not very fun. You're just PVEing until you get to hell and you've killed the boss. Like, okay. Yeah. Oh. And even if they merge the lobbies, you're still going to, even then you'll die at 25 minutes. Yeah, or 24 minutes. But I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It would I don't, make the game a like lot harder. The, I don't like the idea of merging lobbies. I, I, I'm with the end boss. Merge lobbies sound like the biggest turd pile. I totally agree. I, I, I want to see people that I saw in the ruins down in the crypts. And the people I saw in the crypts, I want to see those same people in hell. I want, I want the continued story with that group of people. To then go, make to level go, one like seven minutes. Made yes, super short. shorten it and maybe add more people. Fine. Or just get rid of it. Yeah, I'm I'm pro two or, levels. Or dude. open up red sooner. Like just just open up down sooner. If people want to dick around in the ruins and fight cock the cockatrice and the fucking golem and farm wolf pelts or go hit the tower in the corner of the map, let them and then let them get out. But the people that go into ruins for the purpose of going down to crypts, for the purpose of going down to hell to boss, open up the reds and the downs way sooner. That's all you got to do. The people that want to go down will go down. The people that don't won't. Like every time you see a red, are you a moth to a light where you have to go down? No. If people don't want to go down, they can just keep fucking playing and take a blue and get out. That's the way I look at it. Yeah, but it, yeah, that doesn't... why not just keep it separate at that point? For like, hey, play here five minutes and then just go next map. I sure. Just, I mean, at that point, I don't floors. know. I mean, I can't really argue with that. I don't know. I, I think two is the best system, in my opinion. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's fine. It's just if it wasn't so fucking empty, just every time. Like, yeah. What's the point? Crips is a what's the point uh, part of the game right now. At least in red, 100%. it's like, oh, if I don't pay attention, I'll die. Or at least we can kill the boss or... Loot this full room. At least get something decent, right? Crips is like, let me clear four <laughs> entire modules. Yeah. And maybe get some good shit, but... Does oh, Crips even I'll feel like the treasure. PvP uh -huh. is ramped up? 
Like it just it feels like the same PvP. I mean PvE. Sorry. PvE. Yeah, PvE. Yeah, yeah. I can I just say oh, can well Iron Mace listen to us for a second. Iron Mace, please stop putting <laughs> out hot fixes before holidays. Please do not push stuff out half cocked before everyone's out of the office for several days. You've done this before and it bit you in the, the ass. Dupe and the rollback? Yeah, of course. They were like, there's only three people in the office right now and we pushed this hot fix. So we kind of have to deal with this. And then those poor bastards have to come into the office to hot fix the game because some dickheads in North America are bitching about it in their Discord. So like, fuck, like we're going to lose customers. So we have to get on and, and fix this thing. It's like, guys, just slow down. Don't push anything out before a holiday. I just wish Iron Mace would hit the brakes a bit. I, 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 I know that I've been a champion for them. Like, oh man, I love that they're pushing out these updates all the time. There's a hot fix once or twice a week. This is awesome. Maybe they should just pump the brakes. Maybe they should. Maybe they should dial, I, dial it back. I got an even extreme take. Put out a hot fix once a month. Don't feel the need to put a hot fix a every hot week or every two weeks. fix once a month? I don't know about that. I mean, dude, what are we doing? It changes. Like, I, I feel like there's too many fucking hot fixes, in my opinion. I think a couple like, of hot fixes a month is fine. But time it. Like, don't push out a hot fix that is going to fundamentally change certain systems before you go on a vacation for four days. I mean, I get that. But, like, like that's do you crazy think the game needs a hot fix, like, two, three hot fixes every month? Is it for really League of Legends sure. and do it bi-weekly and call it a day. I guess. I don't know. I, like, I just, like World I, of I Warcraft, don't... for instance, every Tuesday, like 4 a.m. was patch day. Like yeah, every, they're patching like, the wild shit. They're not, I know, they're not I'm just changing saying, the balance of the game. I, I understand. I'm just saying, like, it's nice to know the day of the week and the time frame roughly when things are going to change, when the game's going to go down. Maybe they should yeah. consider some sort of hot fixing and patching schedule and not push something out before everyone goes on vacation. Or on I do hear your point though, Donnie. Just, it was a lot of whiplash for quite a while. Like w just let us play the game, you know, like yeah. and, and in my opinion, I would rather they come out with one solid update. That's like pretty sleek, pretty, you know, solid. There's no bugs. There's nothing like that once a month versus two or three hot fixes a fucking month where it's like, Oh, there's an issue now. Like, ah, blah, blah. Like, I'd rather just one solid one a month, and we're good. I got to piss right back. Yeah, I mean, they've had a lot of patches, so there's, like, problems, for sure. Yeah. The dupe one, uh, the first dupe, I don't really know, unless my timing's off, but, like, the marketplace having dupes and shit, I think anyone could have guessed and expected, so I'm not, like, tr truly shocked or anything, so, in terms of that. But there's been plenty of patches where the game's just dog shit for, like, the 12 hours or whatever, sure. Yeah, and I agree with Lazy Prodigy. Let us do the play testing we signed up for. Let us test these fucking wild hotfixes in the, the testing server and then come out with a solid one that hits Stable Branch once a month where we, we're like, okay, this is like actual what the game needs. That yeah, it's not like it. that many people are going to play the, the PTR, right? Like, sure, when but it I mean, first you drops, play like PTR. a couple thousand. No, I would not. Yeah, you would. Unless Content. there was some hot shit. Yeah, unless there was like, oh, we're going to test Druid. Sure, I might, you know, might, might peep it out. But if it's like, oh, we got a new weapon. Yeah, I might not do it. I play this shit all day. You think I want to go play the extra? <laughs> uh, but I mean, like, top, you know, I don't know. I don't but know. yeah, you're right. It would be like good content. I probably would. You probably would play it. And not I, I stream, think anyways. The people who really enjoy the game and really know the game, not me. I don't know the fuck. I'm, I'm like, I just headshot, fighter, headshot, kill people. Like, that's how I play the fucking sure. game. I'm like, second win, sprint, you know? Um, people, but people who really enjoy the game and would give really good feedback would play the test servers and they would come back and I feel like they'd have better patches and just do them slower and, yeah. you know, come up with a content patch once every couple of months and we're good to go. I don't need to have like whiplash every two weeks of like, oh, oh rogue shit. Now barb shit. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm fucking going off on a tangent, but I love no, that. I, I love that. I get back and the first thing I see is unboss say, you guys play shit off stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah i play video games not live it's crazy i don't play dark and darker off stream i i get it i refuse yeah there was yeah a, give there rewards was a time, for playing ptr there was a time where when i was a daisy streamer i could not i didn't want to play any video games when i was done streaming 
because I was streaming 12 hours a day, six days a week, playing Day Z. And it was just, it was draining. I, I didn't want to do anything at my computer. Well, one thing. Okay. Um, anyway, let's continue episode 50. Chat Q&A Bonanza with some questions. Chat, what do you guys got? We are an hour and 20 in. That's some rookie number shit. Let's get some more questions. What do you guys got? What have you guys been playing? I've been playing Hell Divers. I've been playing the fuck out of that game. Demigod Grind and Team Fight Tactics. I play TFT, a couple matches of TFT every day. It's fun. I like to I like to uh have my morning coffee and play a TFT match and look at the news. It's like my morning ritual. Yeah, I have a look at the news in 10 years since I was checking to see if school is canceled. What the hell? <laughs> when, I, when I look oh, at the news, goodness. I'm not going to like Fox News or CNN. I'm looking at like Reddit and looking at like Al Jazeera and like the shit like that. News. Yeah, I'm not looking at like CNN or shit like that. I, mm. I think uh, legacy media is fucking dumb. You know, you know what's a good topic, I think? Talk about Dungeonborn, how their game, to me and probably a lot of people, was worse than their arena mode. And do you think Dark and Darker is going to have the same possible problem? I think so. Well, I don't know about worse, but I don't like them competing. Um, I'm actually worried about arena mode being introduced now after watching the Dungeonborn shit. Yeah, we don't need arena mode. Not yet. I think arena mode should come way later. I think it's a massive distraction for them, and it should be a very, very exciting new thing to do when... 100,000 people freshly playing the game from a re-release on Steam are burnt out on the game they've built at that point. Save it for way later. Um, Save it for later. I'll That's say this. First Save of all, it. don't don't make it a separate game. That's so stupid. The way Escape from Tarkov did it, I oh, yeah, haven't booted dumb. up Arena. That's terrible. Yeah, I haven't booted up Arena since it came out. And I was so hyped for Escape from Tarkov Arena because everyone knows when you play Tarkov, the second you get any kind of like in game, like really good loot, you die immediately. <laughs> like you just get waxed like off the bat. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's really fun to be able to play with like some of the really high end shit. But man, I was way more hyped than I would be for a dark and darker arena that, for the, the Tarkov Arena. And dude, I'd, I don't, I think I'd play that thing for a day and be like, all right, I'm just going to go back to the dungeon. I just think it'd just be a massive waste of time. Yeah. yeah, and while it works, it's an MMO. I don't know. I don't. I just don't see how it really like fits without being a separate game. I don't see how you make it not a separate game. Truly, really. just make it a separate menu. You you click on like go to the arena, queue up for arena match. As long as yeah. you oh, that's have what to, Born is right. As long as you have to but go it's still, like, yeah. completely different. As long as you have to grind out gear and whatnot in the regular game to take into the arena and if you die in the arena you lose it so it forces you to go back into the regular game to get a new kit i'm good with it but if it is a if it is a separate iteration of the game where i have like some kit or something because i choose fighter for the arena or like the tarkov system right I'm, yeah so you I, can get I, other I, no people's thanks. loot no fucking thank you yeah i don't and i don't you could get other people's loot though right i if you think, beat the other team I think no. Out. I think there should be another a different incentive. So it just poofs. Yeah, I think like lose. I think it poofs if you lose, and there should be another incentive to win the arena beyond I get to pick up the gear of the other team that might fucking. I suck already dick. think it's dead on dead on arrival if your gear poofs when you lose. You think so? Right. What if what if the Who signs up for that shit? What if the prize is something really really badass? What if? Uh, what if there is a similar arena grind as there is to the AP grind and there is a whole nother series of unlockable things you can get as you progress through the, through the arena, but in order to succeed in the arena, you have to go into the dungeon to get the loadout to be able to fight a team in the arena to survive, to continue leveling up. I like that. I think that's actually cool. But the rewards for the arena would have to be really fucking badass. I don't think I want to grind. I don't grinds. think I would play that. I don't want to have to do an AP grind and an arena grind. That sounds miserable. Sure. Yeah. yeah both, both sound terrible. Yeah. 
Yeah, if it's both, that sucks, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, someone said the idea sounds nice, nice if it's implemented perfectly. Exactly, Gingerbread. It would have to be like any any missteps on what I just said would fucking suck. If what yeah. I just said was not implemented perfectly, I wouldn't do it either. <laughs> like it, If I had uh, one dream update to this fucking game, can I just have one match right on fucking rubber band? Just one game <laughs> where I don't rubber band? Yeah, I'm, I'm so I would, tired of it, dude. I know, me too. I would, oh God, I would, I'd be elated. That, that that kills my dad boner so hard when I like rubber band ten times in one game. I'm just like, Ugh. when I rubber band Dang. into a goblin's sword strike or a mummy's fucking head slap, it's the worst. When I when I'm purposely trying to evade yeah. it or block it, and I still get hit, and there's nothing I could do about it, it just it's just annoying. It's so annoying. I yeah. feel bad. I feel bad for the IM team because they said on the podcast with us just a few weeks ago that it makes them cringe every fucking time they mm -hmm. see it. Imagine being them. This is their job. Their job is to make this game and hope that it does well. Their families are riding on this shit. The game that we do a casual podcast about once a week, that's their life. That's like their career. Oh, 100%. I, can't, I can and, and only I imagine what it's like to watch Jay play and rubber band into a fucking goblin sword. It's got to feel terrible. Even something is... I stay away. <laughs> I, well, yeah. I know you in particular, sure. But just in general. Caster privilege. And I'll, I'll mm. say this, man. I, I think when they come on, you know, you, we could tell they're very passionate about the game, the way they talked about it, the way they just wanted to Big time. hang out for two and a half fucking hours and talk about their video oh, game. Yeah. yeah, they're awesome. Clearly love this shit. Yeah. Clearly all about Dark and Darker. But man, if this shit carries on for six more months, like... I, oh, come, like, we gotta, like, that's gotta be priority number one is this fucking rubber banding. That shit drives me crazy. All right, here's a question for you guys. If you were Terry, if you were the CEO of Iron Mace tomorrow, right. and you, you had God powers, and you had all the money that Iron Mace currently has, which is probably millions of dollars after selling a half a million copies, after taxes and all the shit and paying employees, they're sitting on several million dollars. They have runway. What would you do to ensure people that are currently playing to stick around. How do you entice new players? Like, what would you do? What would you do? Like, what, what would you prioritize? And you got a stability. Uh, I mean, I, I just complained about it, but make the game run like fucking sweet butter. Hire as many guys as you need to come in and just make this game run like a goddamn dream. It would be my, my recommendation. Dude, I would, I would take a big chunk of that money and I would hire so many fucking people to start catching up on the grand vision. I would not just have one person on a system for the game. Like, we have one guy doing animations, one guy doing monsters. Fuck that. Like, I would spend money on, like, yeah. big fucking big talent. Burn the money on big talent. Like really, really good artists, really good level designers. But I mean, really you would do coders. that while the you would do that while you have all the performance issues in the game right now. Yeah, yeah. Put two guys yes. on the server problems. I would, I would hire, I would hire across the board. I would. I don't I would, know what the issue is. I would dump a hundred thousand dollars issue. into okay. stability. I dump, I dump six figures into stability, rubber banding, and server issues. More, more, way more probably. I would hire a fuck ton of people. I w all I would do is hire, 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 and just try to scale and make the game as pristine and as feature rich as possible. That's all I would do. I would just hire, fill out the team. Yeah. While they can. Right now, they have millions of dollars. Now's their chance. Because if they don't go on a hiring spree and they decide to spend resources elsewhere, or they decide to spend money on a on a big marketing plan, or they decide to spend money on a on a booth at TwitchCon or GamesCon do shit. or shit like no one this cares is what, about that shit. This is what devs do, though. It happens all the time. This is the kind of stuff that indie devs do. They get tricked and they fall into traps. I've seen it happen multiple times. When I worked at Twitch, 
I remember meeting indie devs and interviewing indie devs on the Twitch stage that were like, yeah, we just spent the last of our budget on coming to TwitchCon to talk to you. I'm like, I'm like, oh, that's so exciting. That's awesome. Like during the interview in my head, I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. You just wasted the last of your money. I think what like, gets what any the- gamer more excited than anything else, don't go to no fucking con. Don't do anything stupid. Just make a dope trailer. And put that shit in like a, yeah. some sort of thing. Just make a dope trailer and you'll get way more hype, way more excitement for your game than any kind of like booth or mm-hmm. TwitchCon visit or anything like that. It's true. And be be mysterious. You know what I mean? Like companies that are fucking a little mysterious, they don't tell everything about their game. People get way more hype for it, you know? The only the only time I ever saw like an indie dev really crush it at an event was when they co-sponsored a party and at the party they gave out a code for their game. It's the only but, time dude, I ever saw it succeed, and they still. How many people to went to that? Money. How many people went to that fucking party? Lots. Define lots. Thousands. Two thousand people. Hundreds, if not thousands, of people that are going to Hun- hundreds of thousands of people at hundreds, a single party. Hundreds, if not thousands. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Go to the party, and as they walk in, they get handed a code for the game. Play the game when you get home, and if you're a streamer, we'll give you five dollars of in-game currency. Shit like that. That's the only yeah, time I ever saw indie devs do a really good job. Was here, come get drunk, come, come eat some fucking, I don't know, some sliders at our party that we're doing with Humble Bundle. Get a code, have a good time, get laid, get fucked up, whatever you got to do. Take no our... one is getting laid at a gaming party, dude. That's not no true. No chance. That's not true. No chance. Not true. If, okay. If anyone who is not, okay. If you're not a famous streamer, and you go to TwitchCon and you get laid by a woman that is, or guy, no, no judgment, that is pretty attractive, you're God. If you go to TwitchCon and you get laid by an attractive person, I, I am impressed. That, that is my statement on that. And not, you're not a Twitch streamer. You can't have clout. You're just a regular guy who goes there and you get laid. That is very impressive. Not every single person that attends a video game convention is a fucking troll living under a bridge, though. There's I get that. People that are good but, looking that work out that can... Whole ass. At least a big, uh, you know, big percentage. I get that, but I feel like the guys who are getting laid there are like Hassan. That dude looks like a goddamn Greek god. You know, <sighs> thousands upon thousands of years. That guy's getting puss. All right, all guaranteed. Of the, all of the very famous big streamers are obviously getting laid. They don't even have to try. It's like the new age celebrity shit. But if yeah. you're just a regular dude that is not a fucking slob, and you're like decent looking, you have a little bit of game and some social structure. And you can carry a conversation with a human being. You could probably you can get laid. Like it's possible. It's possible. I just possible. feel like my options available to me, I wouldn't want that at a Twitch gun as a regular guy. Okay, well I'd yeah. give me a waifu. Well, I Jay, just don't think if you there. keep crushing it on Twitch, you will get your waifu. You will get it. First of all, you're not One ugly. Day. You're not ugly. And you're not morbidly obese. So you already have a couple of good things going for you. Congrats. You also have Twitch clout. And that viewers. was going to be number three. Number three is you're about to be a full-time, you're already a full-time streamer, but you're about to be a full-time streamer with money and some sway on the platform. You're going to you're gonna be all right. <laughs> all right. Look at his concerned face. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. I would it's just okay. be concerned. About somebody that goes to TwitchCon expecting to get laid. Like, who is that guy? No, no. Yeah. well, a famous I don't streamer. Think you can do all that. No, if you're, yeah. if you're, maybe a, if you're a famous streamer. If but, you're mm-hmm. Summit 1G levels of of famous on Twitch, you're going to an event like that to get laid and to like get paid to show up to a booth for two hours, go to a fancy dinner. Like, yeah, that's why you're going. But that's a very rare thing, right? That's that's yeah. not for us. And l- let me say this. I'm the kind of guy, like, I'll go out to a bar, and if I meet somebody, I'm like, I'll take your number. Like, I'm not going home with you. That's, that's the kind of guy I am. Shut the fuck thing. up. You're a liar. That's, what do you... I don't... No! Shut the fuck up. No way. You want, you want sloppy, sweaty bar sex? I'm good, dude. I'll, I'll take you out for coffee. We'll talk. No, I don't that. want that, Donnie. You're right. That sounds <laughs> awful. Don't. Oh, my God. Ew. Ew. Why would I want unless, sloppy and, bar sex? Unless she's like sex. a 10... Unless yeah. she's like just out of this world, I'm good. I'd rather go home. Yeah, like, the I'm, girl I'm being at the honest. bar who wants to go home and have sex with me after only hanging out for a few hours, if she's not a perfect 10, got to back out. Totally, dude. 
Yeah, I don't want that. I'm sorry. No, of course like, not. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I was passing out. Different what, philosophies, Are you a fucking liar? You're a liar. Jay, weigh in here. If you met somebody <laughs> at a bar, would you be like, yeah, let's go home? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Not my vibe, no. dude. No shot, dude. I don't Who believe it. Who are we it. talking? No. No just, shot. I'm not interested. I'm sorry. Like, we'll go get coffee. We'll see if you're cool. But, like, you know, I don't want to go home and feel like I have to burn my clothes out of shame because I, like, slept with some weirdo at a bar. Like, you, don't, good, you don't have to fuck a lagoon creature. I'm not saying, like, <laughs> dude, I'm not saying take home a fucking hideous wildebeest. I'm saying, like, yes, if you're at the bar and you meet a good-looking chick and you jive for a few hours and she wants to go home, you're going to do it. No fucking shot. Listen, I'm not, I'm not saying you have to be a 10 to go home with me. That's not what I'm saying. But the kind of woman that you're going to meet at a bar and that's going to go home with you is like, just, yeah, let's do this. Probably, I'm good. Like, I, I just, I don't want that experience. I'd rather not. You're hilarious. All right. Sorry. Right. Sorry. Right. I just, not my vibe. Okay. Jay, what do you think? Huh? One night stands worth? Yeah or no? Depends, bro. I don't know. Okay. I've been hunched over with the brush, crying in a full panic many a times in the bathtub. You're what did like, you just say? Hunched over with the brush? Thank he caught something horrible from some swamp yep. at the fucking bar, you know? Yep. Yeah, dude, I'm good. Bathtub, I got the brush, you know, I got my comet. I'm sweating, bro. I'm like, my life's over, you know? No, I don't know. Well, what are you talking about? All been there? No, this sounds terrible. What are you saying right now? Okay, okay. Look. You've never... Okay, have you had a one-night stand where you go, oh my God, what the fuck did I just do? Oh, yes, yeah, of that's course. What I'm yes. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what Jay's that's saying. That's what I'm like, saying. Oh, yes. I thought he was have like trying... Have you never trying... seen a haunted house? Okay. Oh, I thought you meant like you were literally in the bath trying to scrub off some like potential STD or like there's... Yeah. You're... That, that's what he's saying, yes. Yeah, he's you're like, oh my God. Panic. I... All right, okay, I know one time specific... You're telling me you've never... You've never been with a woman, and I know one time specific. I'll tell mine, okay? I was once with this woman, and it didn't click until almost immediately after. You know, there's a there's a reason for that. It's a state of mind, you know? It's a mental state you kind of lock into once you're done with things. <clears throat> and you're like, damn, that was easy. Why? <laughs> Why was that so easy? And you're like, oh, fuck, bro, like... Well, she's just a fucking... Well, she's a menace, bro. What is she got? Herpes? She's trying to spread that shit. She knows it's too late for her. She's trying to say fuck everybody else. You're telling me you've never had that? Ever? <laughs> never had you've that never thought, thought in your head? That? You've never thought that? Holy that is the reason I go home with shit. people from the bar, dude. 100%. That's, that's part of it. I've never thought that I have accidentally fallen into the fucking... The trap of an evil person who got an STD that's permanent and they want to watch the world burn around them and spread okay. it that's intense it's, it's not it's it's not that they're like malicious about it it's that they go out and they're they don't want to be in long term with somebody so they go out and they like they're just easy and they just have that stuff that's that's part of my fear as well of going home with somebody from like a public outing damn wow yeah yeah jay's ranting uh, muted right now to chat about this i don't know, <laughs> I don't know uh, what jay, he's ranting. are you serious i was <laughs> muted the whole time you were you muted didn't hear me at all no you're muted what'd you say you muted like the last oh. 10, 15 seconds. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you heard me then. I didn't realize I muted though. No, you were muted. What did you say? Oh. We didn't hear you. I don't remember. <laughs> I was just going to say, moral Look. of the story, wrap it up, I guess. No, for wrap sure. Wrap it up. Like, definitely be careful. I mean, when I was a young guy in the military, like in Korea and Germany and England, dude, I, when I would go TDY in like Eastern Europe and shit, I would do wild shit. But I what never. Was that? When was TDY? this? TDY. Oh, temporary deployment. So, mm. like, let's say, like, a jet busts an oxygen seal, and it has to... Like, I'm listening, but I'm going to walk away for a second. Yeah, so, like, for instance, an F-15 busted an oxygen seal in the cockpit, and it had to do an emergency landing in Scotland. So I had to fly to Scotland to, like, work on the jet. Fix it. Yeah. But I was a weapons guy, so I wasn't going to be f working on a canopy, like a jet canopy. My job was to go disconnect the missiles so that a mechanic could come in and fix that part of the jet. So when I went to Scotland, I was there for 30 days, but I only worked for two hours. 
So I spent mm. 29 days hanging out in Scotland. That was amazing. A real deployment is like Afghanistan, Iraq, shit like that. Yeah. But like I went, I went TDY to like Bulgaria and like all kinds of like wild places where like you work hard, like you're working with like the Bulgarian military or whatever, but then you also like get fucked up and like party on their, in their town and shit. It was fun. Uh, I love, okay. So the guy that I've been sparring with Barrows in your chat, I was like talking shit and he was talking shit to me a little bit. He's a fucking weapons loader in the Air Force, just like I was. So he's instantly, I love him. I, he's my brother already. I hated him. I, I hated him a minute ago and now I love him. That's, that's oh. like the camaraderie of the military right there. That's hilarious. All right. You're a brother, Barrows. I don't hate you anymore. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, temporary deployment. That was like that's the cool. best. That was the best because you would also get a per diem amount of money every day. So when I went to Scotland, so you're just getting paid vacation. Yes. So when I went to Scotland, God damn, I love America. I got a hundred eighty euros a day, plus my military paycheck, plus all expenses paid. So you're a millionaire. No, a mil, a millionaire. Pretty much. No, I wasn't a millionaire. In Scotland, two hundred euros, bro. That's got to be like it was. I I came with back no with. I came back with, like I saved all that money for sure. Oh, okay. And then no, I, I say that, and then it. I went on a vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can. I know, you, you can, can save. It. It. I used to get, just get company card. They're like, you get twenty five bucks. Oh no, no, you can you can shit. save it. You're getting paid. Oh, okay. So I saved the money and I would go on a vacation to like Sweden or some shit. But you gotcha. Yep. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, we were, we were weapons guys. That's hilarious that this guy in your chat's a weapons troop. That's like a, I wouldn't say it's a rare job, but you don't see weapons guys very often. A, a, load, a load toad, as we used to be called. Fuck yeah, Barrow. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Let's get some more questions. Unhinged one night stand STD fear. Jay is something else. <laughs> That's not Listen, that. Bro, that's I, not I'm, that crazy. That is pretty rational, in my opinion. Yeah, I, it's there's I, some I, I there's know. rationality to it. No, I feel like that's just everybody. No, 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 no. Part like, of the, yeah. No, you're right. I okay. I would be lying if I said well, there like, hasn't unless been. Unless you don't get around, you know yourself. I guess maybe you don't like. Yeah, yeah like I said, I, I would be lying if I said there wasn't times in my life where I got scared. Like, oh god, I just dunked my dick in evil, and I shouldn't have done that. Sure, everyone has those moments. But I wasn't thinking about that, like, in the moment at 22 years old, trying to pull a girl back home. Like, not at all. Like, the goal ah. was take, take something down on the hunt and drag it home. Like, that was the goal. Okay. As, a, as a 22, this was 15 years ago, okay? I, I had a different mindset. I get you. I, get I had a different you. mindset. But that, like, that was a, like, get laid, fuck yeah. It was military shit. It was a like... young buck trying to get a cougar. Yeah, it was like me and a bunch of other <laughs> military dudes... In England, trying to get laid. Of course, like that's like the mindset. Of course, it's... Cat Girly 420 goes. IMO sexually active people usually practice safe sex. The fuck they do? No, they don't. No, uh, uh, uh. There's a you reason ask. why condoms have commercials, because people are they're trying to push them to people. People aren't actively going out to buy condoms. They're just actively dunking their dick and whatever they want. You have to market safe sex for a reason. <laughs> yeah see one pig in here with the raw duck now dude see you asked nine <laughs> out of ten you asked ten guys uh hey do you use condoms like fucking seven of them i'll be like fuck no and like, then, the, and, then not... and then two of them will be like what's that <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah no are you kidding me yeah yeah so no don't trust people don't trust anybody take care of yourself yeah they got changes if you're in a relationship. <laughs> Only if she makes. But it me. does if you're in a relationship. Yeah, hundred percent. But I knew a guy. Yeah. Not kidding. He would put two on, and then if everything seemed okay, he would take them both off. That's foul. That's Dub foul behavior. Yeah, he would double force field. If if things seemed safe, force fields down. Raw. That's like. Only wipe, wipe uh, like only washing your hands after taking a shit if you got shit on your hands. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Jake, <laughs> what, what you're you, saying what, is what right. Doing, the guy was insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was like, you're buying you all those out. condoms to just throw Hello? them away. No, you're totally right. No. Sick fuck. <laughs> I wouldn't call him a sick fuck. Uh, maybe no, maybe just, a I, money no, waster. 
<laughs> Sorry, my own analogy stuck in my head. Now I'm just like disgusted. I'm like, that's fucking gross. <laughs> It's like, man, yeah, only, anyway. only wash if there's shit. It's like, damn, bro. Yeah, all right, so okay. what is the boy? What day? Do you use a bidet, Jay Griffia? No. Me either. I, I feel should. like I should, though. I, someone gave me the best argument for bidets yeah. ever. They were like, okay, if you walk out of your house and a bird flies over your head and shits and it lands on your arm, do you wipe it off with some paper or do you wash that shit off? I was like, I wash that shit off. It's disgusting then why are you only wiping your own ass with paper? I was like, holy fuck, you just checked me. Yeah, me. I got a thing called butt cheeks, <laughs> though, bro. Your butt cheeks you know don't absorb... <laughs> yeah, but it's... It, it, what did you It's only say? coming out of a small area, okay? And that small area just happens to be, you know, like, in a safe location. I don't know. It's not exposed. My arm, bro, my arm could touch my face. <laughs> No, nope. it's different. I'm confused. What it's the different. fuck did you just say? <laughs> I'm gonna go on Amazon and see if I can get the, 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 the bird bidet. one. You know, I'm not huh? sold on the bird one. That's all. That's what I'm. That's what I'm getting at. Here. Wait, what do you mean the bird one? What does that mean? Like if a bird shat on my arm, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna wash it. Oh, I see. The argument. Gross, the bird bro. argument. Like, yeah. Well, if I drop my burrito and it just, you know, rolls down my arm, I'm like, ah, oh, damn, my, the bird just shit. Then now I don't want to eat the burrito. But my burrito's not gonna drop for... on my asshole. No, you it's know, way different. That may not be perfectly clean because I didn't use a bidet. You can get a Sorry. bidet for 60 bucks. You can just I'm put too on your into the dude. analogies here. No, I get it. You know, it. King George, Rainbow <laughs> Six Siege Pro, a longtime streamer, made a bidet. It's just a random fact. Made? Really? A bidet? Weird. He made a bidet. He sells it on Amazon, bro. King That's George. Awesome. If you guys play, if any of you have played CG, you know who King George is. I've so. done multiple uh, brand deals with King George. He's, a, he's cool. I just thought that was random as fuck that, like, I he watched him like, a, a, a couple weeks ago and I was like, what is that thing? I've, like thrown that guy, like, I've thrown that guy at least four brand deals shit. over the years. It's so yeah. funny. Wow. Yeah, I, bidets, there's something about water squirting on my asshole. It's just like, ah, I'd rather wipe with paper. It's a little emasculating. Not even that. It's just, I don't like the way it feels. I don't care if it makes me feel less of a man. Never been there. I'd rather feel like less of a man than feel grossed out by water hitting my asshole. The, the, phys, the physicality behind it, it doesn't feel good. I yeah. just got a question. doesn't like, you know, doesn't like splash everywhere. Isn't you know what's that? wild like about more toilets? More unsanitary. Is we put clean water in a toilet. Isn't that kind of crazy? We put like drinking water in a toilet. Isn't that kind of wired? We no. drink toilet water though, right? Uh, I don't know about we, but uh, some people <laughs> probably <laughs> do. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's it's, it's drinkable water in your toilet bowl if you're really down <laughs> I bad, don't dude. Know about we. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. Holy shit, that made me laugh hard. I don't know about we. Damn, that that hit me. Well, wow. sorry. Anyway, hey, back to the Q and A chat. What do you guys got? Anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's some oh, questions yeah. about the dark we're game. We're doing a Q&A, &A, bro. Yeah, we're doing a Q&A. We're doing a Q&A. &A. What you guys got? <laughs> this is this is my favorite episode of the podcast ever, by the way. This is great. What you guys Taking got? a lot of left turns and I love it. I love the unhinged. Sharp rights. See Cat Girly 420. I love the unhinged episodes. See? There we go. We did get a little off topic, but we to be fair, we planned for this. Episode 50 was supposed to just be a wild episode. Doesn't have to be dark and darker related. It can be whatever. We just wanted to hang out, have some drinks, smoke some herb as a crew, hang out with you, chat. That's, that's, I'm on beer three. I'm almost done with this bottle of wine, and I had a drink before the bottle, so I'm actually pretty buzzed, and I'm going to go get Hey, chat. A, a what are you drinking? Steak <laughs> after this. Anybody got their light bulb so out funny. smoking some crack? Anybody? These, yeah. these guys fuck Rob, but get mad at spritzing clean water on their bum bum. Oh, 100%. That is it. Yeah. Dude, N Boss, we got to get you on, man. N Boss, why don't you come on soon? Like that is a good way to put it. Like in the next few weeks. Vodka mixed with Kool Aid and lime juice? That's fucking cursed, dude. <laughs> why are you putting lime juice in the Kool Aid? Wait, what kind that? of Kool-Aid? That could be Lemon, good. Like lemonade Kool-Aid? That could be good, though. With lime juice in the Kool-Aid? Yeah, why not? 
my worst weed experience. Grape Kool Aid with lime juice? That sounds good. What's wrong with that? Wrong with that? I don't know. Maybe I'm hating, but I don't know. My worst weed experience. I was getting out of the Air Force. I was stationed in Germany. And I was done with work. I was literally just waiting to become a civilian. And I was fucking dumb. And I drove from Germany to the Netherlands, to Maastricht, which is a city in the southern part of the Netherlands. Yeah. And I drove there with a guy who was also leaving the military because he was getting kicked out for a DUI. I was getting out honorably after the end of six years. This poor guy was getting kicked out after only two years in for a DUI. And we were both leaving the same day, two weeks from, from now. So we decided to go to Maastricht to buy weed because I, I thought we were done. I thought we were getting out. So I drove us to the Netherlands about three, four hours. I buy weed. I'm driving back to Germany. And there is a massive traffic jam. Massive traffic jam getting into Germany. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? This is insane. I've never seen this. This is the Autobahn. It's supposed to be flowing. Yeah. There's a police barricade. Polizei. German police barricade at the German border. I'm like, whoa, that's fucking crazy. Until my car got to it, the barricade was for me. What? They pulled my car. They pulled my car to the side of the Autobahn and a team of Polizei German cops searched my car, questioned me, they were like, we know you went to Amsterdam. We know you bought weed. Give it up right now, and you'll, you'll get in less trouble. And I was like, I, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I didn't go to Amsterdam. And that's when I knew he was lying to me because he said Amsterdam, and I went to Maastricht. Mm. I did have weed in the car. <clears throat> I had put it in a cheesy chalupa wrapper. Shoved the weed in a bag into that wrapper and then shoved it into a Taco Bell bag. And when they searched the car, the first thing they picked up was the Taco Bell trash. And they discarded it immediately, just pushed it aside. And they were talking shit about me in German. Disgusting pig. Look at the Taco Bell. (laughs) Look at this fucking trash heap of a car. You're a nasty American. Disgusting motherfucker. Yeah. And they pushed it aside. They searched the whole car. And they didn't find anything. And I was like, I don't know what you guys are doing. This is fucking appalling. I have two weeks left in your country. I'm about to leave the military after six years. What the fuck is this? Call my first sergeant right now. What is up with this harassment? And they finally let me go. And then I smoked the mm. weed that night. Yeah. <laughs> and then I, got the, then I got out of the Air Force two weeks later. Had I gotten caught, mm. I would have gone to military prison for international drug smuggling. I would have lost my honorable discharge. And I never would have worked at Twitch. I never would have been a streamer. And I would not be here today. That's my worst weed story. Don't do drugs, kids. Right. Yeah. In Amsterdam. That was, that was uh, 12 years ago. <laughs> uh, that scared the fuck out of me, by the way. I yeah. smoked a joint and frosted many weeds. Crazy. <laughs> Life is wild, truly. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I, I had a, like a full-on fucking... Like, I wasn't just like okay after that. Like, I, I was adrenalized for like... A month and a half like i was i thought my life was over so i i freaked out for sure i didn't just like schluff it off like nothing happened like i i was scared but i got out of the military everything was fun. everything was fun yeah no i was stupid in high school i mean we'd like roll around like smoke weed in the car it's like what are we fucking doing here like kind of a miracle thing you got but oh well someone yeah. asked the weight of the drugs didn't matter uh not as a u.s military member i was uh I had a top secret nuclear SCI clearance and I had essentially taken an, an, an illegal substance and taken it across the Belgian and German border. So they didn't care. I was, I was a prime target for like some crazy shit. I just lied well and hit it well and they didn't catch me. <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy. I just got lucky. Super, super lucky. You almost got caught smoking weed in the army? 
man, getting caught with drugs in the military, that's it's got to be terrifying. Over. Oh, yeah, you're fucked. You're fucked big time. Yeah. You get demoted, yeah. you lose money, you get out, not honorably. Like, I know a guy who was in for a very, very long time who got caught with drugs near the end of his time in, and he lost his pension. Like, the guy was in for, like, 16 years, had only a few years left, was going to get paid, like, $40,000 a year for the rest of his life tax-free after that. Lost it at, at the end just for, just for weed. Why would you do that? People, get, people fuck up, man. It's just, that's life, you know? Silly goober. And imagine all the people that don't get caught. A lot. Most people don't get caught. Mm-hmm. Most people don't. Yeah. yeah, no, I had a buddy in the Air Force. He, um, first off, he got married to his friend for the benefits. Uh, because, I know you know, a guy that did that. Yeah, Dude, he the did that. The benefits are amazing to get married in the military. Really so amazing. So he, um, straight man, got married to another man, and they pretended I mean, to be married for like four same years. Same thing. That, yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. that is hardcore fraud. Yeah, that's fraud. Wow. Um, and then on top of that, because they were they were like afraid to smoke weed and stuff in the Air Force because you know you get piss tests and all that stuff, they would do psychedelics because you know you can't pee test for psychedelics. Right. So they would be tripping balls like every weekend while they're you know U.S. Ar- U.S. Air Force servicemen and uh, just doing their thing. That's that's crazy. What yeah. what are the odds you know a guy in the military who married his friend in the military for the benefits and I know the exact same situation. Smart move. I've known, Why wouldn't you? I've known multiple people who got married just for the benefits. I knew people that got married that <clears throat> barely knew each other mm-hmm. so that they could move out of the barracks and get a house off base. Yeah. Yeah, they told me they get like an extra grand or two a month for getting married, and they get yep. the, the house off base. Exactly like, right. Why well, would they? And and, so, and they told me they're like, all it took is one kiss buddy. and better taxes too. <laughs> they're like, better taxes. They own that shit. They like straight up uh, used to own that shit. Yeah. Double so. Sonic goes. Did they? Uh, did they make them kiss my buddy when he got married? They were like, all right, guys, now you're married. There you go. And they like went in and had like the most awkward hug ever in front of the courthouse lady, just like, oh, I love you, honey, and. And just laugh. <laughs> yeah, the military is, is just weird, man. It's a weird... I grew up on military bases. My dad was a Navy. My mom was a Marine. Like, most of my life, like, over half my life has been involved with the military somehow, which is weird. Yeah. You know? weird, weird way to grow up, for sure. Like, I was moving every one, two, three years. It was a weird, yeah, right. way, weird way to live. Yeah. But, it, I mean, at the same time, though, it made me better at making friends. Like I, after a while, when you have to make friends every fucking year, like you're not shy anymore. Like I, yeah, I just wasn't afraid of people anymore. Because you, you, you meet so many people by the time you're 11. It's like I have no choice but to like be social. Because I'm moving yeah. again. I'm moving again next year. You know. Yeah. I never thought I would actually join. I joined the military as like I had like Ashton Kutcher stoner do. Like I like I'm gonna put the here. Here's a. Why did you join the military? You see that emote right there? Mm -hmm. See the emote right there? That is me at 17, tripped out on LSD. Now it's Uh, it's an animated version of of the picture, but I had that stoner do, and I was like a a hippie kid, and I I joined. Why why did I join? God, so I graduated high school in 2004. And I moved to Portland, Oregon from Cleveland, Ohio with my best friend, Bill. And we start, he stole his, he stole his sister's priceless French horn. It was worth about 12 grand and he stole it and he took it to Portland, Oregon and he sold it <clears throat> for like $10,000. <clears throat> and we, right. we used that money to start our own eBay store in 2004. Uh, this is when eBay was like a big thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's evil. Yeah, he was a dick. Yeah, he stole it. But she wasn't playing it. It was just sitting in, her, in the house. It was sitting in storage. Yeah, makes it way better. Yeah, it was sitting in, like, she wasn't, like, playing it. She was, she was going to Yale. Like, this girl was... So this guy's parents were super rich. His dad was BP's corporate lawyer, BP Oil. And his mom was the third highest executive at Progressive Insurance. These people, these okay. people were ridiculously rich. His sister was going to Yale studying philosophy <clears throat> or some stupid shit. 
So he stole his sister's French horn, sold it for 10 grand. We moved to Portland, Oregon, and we used that money to start our own eBay power seller store. We started going to uh, uh, like the Salvation Army or thrift stores, shit like that. And we would buy cool vintage t-shirts for like 10 cents a piece and then resell them on eBay for 10, for 10, $20. So we'd like sew them up, model them and then sell like cool vintage tea. It was all about tags, cool vintage tea, 20 bucks. And we'd make like a 2000% profit on a shirt. Then we started making real money and we started drop shipping DVDs. So you buy 5,000 DVDs for like $3,000 the DVDs stay in a warehouse. You get a list of your movies that your your inventory essentially. And as you sell your inventory, you just send the order to the warehouse and they ship it. So you just take a cut. And we were doing that at 17 and 18 yeah. years old. We were making <clears throat> fuck tons of money. <clears throat> and we both got really addicted to poker in Vancouver, British Columbia. because we would take Greyhound buses up there. We started drinking heavily, smoking weed, and doing tons of cocaine. A lot, a blow. Like way too much for like an 18 year old to be doing. And we had thousands of dollars every week. Well, it got to the point where we were drop shipping DVDs all the time and we had tons of money. And I was doing way too much blow and I went into cardiac arrest one night and I, overdo oh. I overdosed on cocaine when I was 18 because I accidentally smoked a crack cigarette. <laughs> I know, this sounds crazy. I know, this sounds crazy. I went to a yeah. party, went to a party, bummed a cigarette, there was crack in it. I was already high in cocaine, lit the cigarette, smoked it. I had a heart attack when I was 18 in my apartment. My roommate found me. I had shit myself, pissed myself. I had a bloody nose. I had burst both blood vessels in my nostrils. I, was, I had been passed out for a day. And uh, <laughs> my roommate took me, drove me to the hospital. I got an EKG and the doctor was like, what did you do? And I was like, I can't, I, I can't tell you. He was like, I'm not your parent. Just tell me what you did. I'm a doctor. I'm just trying to help you. And I was so scared of getting in trouble that I could not tell him the truth. He was like, I'm not your dad. Tell me what you did. I'm just trying to help you. And I said, I didn't do anything. I promise. I promise I didn't do anything. He was like, you're fucking lying to me. You're lucky you're 17 or 18 or whatever. Your heart will be fine. But whatever it is you're doing, fix it now or you're going to die young. So I fucking moved back to Cleveland and joined the Air Force like a month later. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh. That was a I'm long, long witness story. Ever. Yeah. Ever. <clears throat> I was already not going to do cocaine ever. Yeah. Joined the Air yeah, Force to, to run away from drugs. Because when I got back to Cleveland, I started snorting cocaine again. Even after that Dangerous. doctor said that shit to me. Yeah. So I got really nervous. So I was like, I have to, I have to fix my life. So I, I joined the Air Force when I was uh, 19, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I joined the military. Good times. Typical why I joined you the Army story. Yeah. Well, Tip eBay typical online take. store in 2004. Mm. We had so much money. Dude, we would throw amazing parties. We would throw like two wild parties every month. We would get kegs. We'd have like we had like a, a coffee table with drugs on it. It was like a it was like a buffet. Like if you wanted Adderall or blow or weed or you wanted Ritalin or fucking Molly, it was on a table. People would just take what they wanted. It was wild. Different times back then, I guess. Oh. But yeah, like yeah, exactly. People in chat are like least insane military joining story. Exactly. Like I heard way worse stories. I heard people were joining the military because if they didn't, they would go to prison and shit. Like it, like my story is not that crazy. <clears throat> I knew people that had terrible, fucked up, sad, scary lives. People that were getting like sexually abused and like joined the military at like 17 years old on a waiver to escape abuse and shit. Like I met all kinds of wild people in the military that were way crazier than my story. So, yeah. I bet. Anyway, that's why I joined. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Just a day in the life. And we'll, yeah. uh, we'll wrap this thing up.
Yeah, let's get a few more questions in. I this this episode's fun, man. I'm having a blast. It's a good one. What about drugs and let's get questions for Jay and Donnie. I'm talking <laughs> way too much, please. <laughs> I love how Ryan six days a week's like, all right, now about those bidets. <laughs> <laughs> The bidets. Yeah, what's after Druid? What class is next? What do you guys think? I don't know, dude. Uh, what monk, a great question. I'm, I'm too drunk to care at this point. I've had like three or four beers. I'm like, overdid a little bit, so I'm just kind of sitting here being a shitter. I'm just like, ah, <laughs> fuck, who cares? I'm a bottle in, and mm -hmm. I'm just like, duh, I empty stomach at that. Succubus. Yes, succubus class. Let's go. Ooh. I don't think Sorcerer's yeah. coming next. I think it's going to be Monk. And yeah. the uniques, when you get a green and then a blue and then like a purple, it increases your bus size of your succubus every time. You guys now think? we're talking. Yeah, there we go. There we go. How can you apply it to Iron Mace? <laughs> <laughs> get this ball rolling. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's hilarious. Mm. All right, give us some real questions. Give us a couple of real questions. Let's get a couple Maybe of more real... dupes for pre-wipe events. I'll be the first to say Please, it. no. Any, dude, sure, why not? if they're like, hey, we're rolling back in a day one more time, my demigod sprints over, dude. No fucking shot. I, ha I have one week to do this. Please don't fuck it up, Iron Mace. Why are GC portals so bad? Dude, good question, Iron Wags. It's terrible in there. This guy in caves in general is pretty, pretty laggy. Pretty laggy. Who is Fetty asks, mm. ass or tits? Okay, moving on. We've, we've been down this road. <laughs> okay, on. fair enough. Do you think they should make the swarm like the freeze and just show up at the end uh, of the match? I don't know, maybe. No. I freeze. Have you guys freeze to death yet? Of course. Of course. I freeze to death like two I steps from an so. extract uh, like a week ago. Damn. I was so mad, dude. I had like 700 AP on me. Dog Sen, Dog Sen asked, "Have you guys ever met IRL?" I have met JIRL. We had a good time in Vegas. I have never met Donnie in real life. I'm not a real person. And I've AI known I've known baby. Donnie five times longer than I've known Jay. You're closer to Vegas than me, Donnie. How'd you not go, dude? Um, I don't know. I just didn't want to. I guess is that is that mean to say? <laughs> I didn't want to go to TwitchCon. No, no, not at all. <laughs> TwitchCon was terrible. Yeah. You thought it was terrible, really? That shit was awful, bro. I'm not gonna lie. What about it was just not a the bunch event of itself? Ads. Oh, yeah. Well, you're talking about the event itself, but going yeah, there, actual and, event. yeah, going there and meeting other streamers, like the social stuff, the parties, that was worth it, right? Everything other than actual TwitchCon was great. Bingo. More, uh, most of it was like pretty, pretty like crazy, like amazing. You know, meet a bunch of people. Yes. Twitch I just want to highlight terrible. Knights of Sham. Wow. No pussy, I guess. Question mark. <laughs> what from TwitchCon? <laughs> no, no. no one How was TwitchCon? No. It was all right. Yeah, no pussy. Oh, man. If, yeah, if there Knights of Sham, wow, Knights of Shamo. If there was pussy, Jay would have been like, "That was the best event I've ever been to." Man, <laughs> let me tell you, that event was it was barely any ads. Everyone had a great time. No. <laughs> I had more fun at my hotel bar oh, than man. I did at fucking TwitchCon, the actual event. Yeah, because you knew you could go up to your room and masturbate at any moment. Yeah. It'd be great. No. Sorry. That it was that was mean. That was mean. My can't, bad. My bad. Can't say I did that. <laughs> Wasn't just like, hey guys, you know, dinner's good and all. I got I'll be right back. I go left my, left my wallet upstairs. Bro. You didn't know. you didn't crank one out with your mobile phone in your fucking hotel room once in Vegas. Shut up. Listen, I didn't say all that. I'm saying you made it sound like you just like be chilling downstairs at some at somewhere with the homies, and you're like, guys, Uber's here. I gotta go back to the hotel. Oh yeah, no. Well, you're not you leaving the night out. No, it's not like you're on a hot date with your left hand. No, like you don't do you don't leave the party to whack off. You do it after you've been defeated at the end of the night. You don't you don't. That's not your prize. You don't leave early to beat off. You beat off when you're sad and alone at the end. Yeah, when the the loneliness sets in. You know, I don't yeah. really, I wouldn't really go think about to the bar your ex there to bit. fuck. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not going to the fucking Paris lobby bar. Like, what's up, lady? 
fuck you doing? For? I don't know. Like, what the fuck? I'll just go to like yeah. a club. It's in, you're in Vegas, bro. This, I don't know. I don't know. Vegas is a weird place to like genuinely find somebody you're interested in because it's yeah. just, I don't know, it's, it's so corporate. It's so, if you've never been to Vegas, there are no places to sit down without paying, without like buying a drink or like buying dinner. Um, it's lights fucking everywhere. And everywhere you go, someone is trying to get you to pay for something. So if you're there for like more than three days, I'm miserable. I'm like, I want to go home. Like, I'm, I'm tired of this shit. Hmm. Yeah, Honestly. Like not going to any clubs, but instead actually going through Vegas this last time. I think I prefer yeah. the clubs like tenfold. Not gonna lie. You like clubs, really? You like Vegas clubs? Oh, I fucking love, dude, I love the clubs. Why? Why do you oh like clubs? What? I, I can't stand them. Because I get fucked up and I just be getting, getting jiggy with it, bro. I don't know. You so you know, like to just there. go out and dance? You just want to get a buzz on and dance? Is that what you're saying, Jay? I paid fifteen dollars for a, a big Bud booty Light. Latina, throw it back <laughs> to you in, in a room with like hundreds of people to the beat, bro. No, that sounds yeah. awesome though. Please, and you're just fucked up. You're just, and, and then she's hitting you with the force, bro. You just you start feeling you're just like <laughs> boom. You're like that. She throws it back in. You're like boom. You're like Jay. Damn, how much do you mommy? weigh? Come on, bro. You're not. You, what? How much do you how weigh, do you Jay? Not like that. <laughs> you got Mr. 305 worldwide, and she's throwing it back at you. You don't. You, you, and, and, you, I don't know. Damn, what you're you, pa you have passion right now. You're spitting passion. It's the instead. I want to go to fucking. I don't fucking Zaxby's, bro. Happy vacation. What the fuck? What you know what I mean? Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the ass is clapping into you to the beat. The music is causing tinnitus. You got a $20 drink in your hand. Yep. It took fucking three hours to get in. No, you're you just got a in heaven, bro. No, no, no. You got a pregame, of course. Yeah, it's Club 101. Club. No, that's true. You got a pregame. <laughs> yeah. You pregame, you go to the bar, then you go to the club. No, you're right. You definitely have to pregame a little bit. The, the club drinks are stupid. They're, it's yeah, watered down. Yeah, I paid 15 bucks for a Bud Light one time. What? Yep. 15 bucks for Bud Light. A, a bottle of Bud Light. 15 bucks. Damn. Dude, literally the bar, when I walked, it was the, the club at the Mirage. I walked up, and the bar has like a little sign on it that was like, if you have to ask how much it is, don't order. And I was like, oh, fucking Christ. Here we go. Wow. And so, yeah. 15 bucks for Bud Light. Yeah. That's, that's like airport yeah. levels of thievery. Like, that's fucked up. You're oh, a fucking... I paid I pay club. 50 bucks for a pina colada at Dre's. How much? Uh, 50 for a pina colada yeah. at Dre's. Oh my God. Yeah. Right. It was big as fuck. Oh, okay. uh, if it, it was, was like, big. It was, like, it was like probably this big, but you got to keep the, the cup from Dre's. Okay, you got the cup too. And I'll, it was like, okay, okay. and you got to remember, it's like 108 remember. degrees because we went in August. Yeah, Fucking yeah. just so wet and bro. Dude, Dre's, if you go to Dre's nightclub. And club, Dre's is crazy. Dre's is actually good. Dre's is yeah. legitimately lit. If you go there like four in the morning, that's when it starts to pop off. Like four to nine a.m. is like on a weekend. That's when like crazy motherfuckers. I don't even go. remember what, like when we left. To be honest, it was a long time ago. You show up at Dre's at four in the morning on a Saturday. Half the people there are rolling their tits off on Molly, and it's just so fun. It's like a lot of hip hop, which is great. And yep. there's like some drink specials, but if you're like buying like. $300 bottles of Grey Goose and shit, you're just fucking up. Like, that's... People that get the tables there are Yeah, stupid. I remember I, I peeped a bottle service menu there, and it was like $600 for, like, one bottle of Smirnoff. It's I'm like, so what stupid. What the fuck, It's bro? so dumb, dude. But I guess you get the table... Dre's is different, though. Dre's, you get, like, your own pool. Or it's like, maybe it's a hot tub. But I, maybe not at 100-degree weather. It's probably a pool, right? You get, like, your own booth and, like, pool, and, like... It's kind of nice. I could see it. Maybe in, like, a fat group. When I was working at Twitch, there was a few times where we went to Vegas and executives like got us a table at a nightclub. And all a table really is in a nightclub is a is like a light bulb for moths. Like really? Like hotties that want to like, oh my god, they have a table. This is our chance for like some free drinks. And maybe mm. if one of them's cute, maybe I'll get laid. Like that's kind of like how it works. The table is the cost of trying to lure people in, essentially. Mm. But it's extremely weird. expensive. 
not worth it. I went to a club in Seattle for my friend's like cousin's like engagement party or some shit. I don't know. Hmm. Which they had bottle service in this club, right? But it was separate from the club. It was like through doors. Wait, what? What? Like, what? Dance floor, doors, bottle service area. What? Which was ass backwards. That is I've never done bottle weird. service at a club. That's sort of weird. my thing. Man. Have I'm you like guys like bar guy. private as fuck? Have you man. guys ever done a VIP uh, room? Maybe I don't know. Have you guys ever done a private room at a strip club, like a champagne room? Never been to a strip club one. one time. Did not enjoy. If you go with someone else that's paying, it's so fun. Okay. It's so fun. Was it as bad as I think it is, Donnie? Because I think it's bad. I've never been to one. I think if it's you're bad. not it's just, paying, it's worth it. I, I could probably see how that'd be fun. I've gone I, with I rich enjoy. friends who paid for everything. They're just like, just come with me. I don't want to go alone. I have I have four thousand dollars in my pocket. Just come with me. You're like, uh, what did you just say? They're like, All yeah, right. I have thousands of dollars. I want to waste on tits. Will you go what with me? What the fuck? Who does that? Rich what streamers. The- when I was working at Twitch. I'm not gonna say. Like any I would do. I won't say any names. I would do that. Yeah. But the idea of spending my own money on some lady to pay attention to me, just I don't. I'm good. Not good. You miss me on that. It's not good. Yeah. When I when I was working at Twitch, I was community manager and then eventually influencer relations guy. So my job for many years, as and I was alone in this at Twitch globally, was work with brands that are advertising on Twitch that want to send money to streamers to do like influencer campaigns, right? Like a hashtag ad, like Lyric playing something for Coke or something like that, right? So I would hook up streamers with these big deals. And some of them, I paid out hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years because brands were like working with them. So occasionally I would see them in like New York City or LA and they'd be like, I want to pay you back. I'm like, what? They're like, you got me all this money. Like, I want to pay you back. You're like, you don't have to. Like, that's my job. You don't have to do I'll that. Take cash. You, no, no, no. no <laughs> I literally easy. was Make like, you, I'm not a take corrupt. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm like, I'm not a corrupt <laughs> guy. Like, I don't need a kickback on this. Like, I get a salary. I have stock options. I have health insurance. I don't need, like, I'm just happy to help you. They're like, no, I'm taking to the strip club. I'm like, okay, well, that's different. Okay. I'm going to give you a thousand dollars. I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't do that. But not kidding. Five or six times. No shit. A big streamer is taking me to a strip club with tons of money to do champagne rooms. And it's fucking wild. Wait, what's a champagne room? Is it just like the this VIP guy? This area? guy Corbino says this guy is talking straight out of his ass. I'm not, because it's not my money. Like I'm not. I'm not talking out of my ass. These are just friends of mine that that are horny dudes that are nerds. I'm definitely not talking out of my ass. It was mm-hmm. people. People I like mean, I, I, people I, like I, I call bullshit. Going no, to a no, no. champagne room at a strip club. You're calling bullshit. You're saying my story about paying for ass. Is bullshit. Listen to listen to those time. words. They're like you're spending money at a strip club. Must be fake. That's the I one mean, story we, you should believe. If I said we got pussy yeah. handed to us on a pedestal for free, and in fact they paid us, call me out for a fake story. I'm literally saying we went to a place to pay to see tits, and you guys are saying it's a fake story. You fucking nuns. True. Fake story. F- like, how yeah. fucking... That's insane that people think that's fake. But okay. Holy shit. IRL Soma comment response right there. I know, but that's just so... It's, I'm sorry, but that's just so crazy. Actually, one guy. That's so crazy to yeah. me. Yeah. That's so crazy to Get me. Farm, dude. That people think paying a stripper money is a fake story. They, they must only ever see anime pussy to think that. Like, holy shit. I'm That's sorry, but some people just, they blow my mind. Retarded. Well, the people are retarded. The people are retarded. That's what I'm trying to All say. Right. That's a famous quote. Do you guys not remember the cult? That there was a guru who got a bunch of people to join his cult. He was a, a famous yoga guy. He was a yogi. And he basically called all of his, yes. his followers. Yes. It's a famous <laughs> documentary. It's a famous uh, documentary. What's, what's the guy's name? I've seen the YouTube video. It's like an Oregon. Yeah. It's what's an that Oregon. guy's name? the fucking name. Yeah, he was like... Every... country was the YouTube... By the, the, the people for the people. The people are retarded, yeah. But the problem yeah. is that the people are retarded. As he collected <laughs> all of their money. Like, yeah, of course they're retarded. He took... He stole all their money. Anyway. 
and I'm kind of drunk, but I just think it's yeah. ridiculous that people think a story about spending money in a strip club's fake. It just doesn't make sense. Like that's Who the cares, one. That's dude? the one story that you believe. I don't know. Why are you yapping about this guy? He typed one message in chat. He just because I just why the the reason why is because sometimes I read shit in chat that blows me away, and I just I can't I can't help it I can't help it calling it out. It's just so dumb. Like there are people that with brains that are so bad that I have no choice but to call it out. Anyway, Jay looks like he's about to pass out. We need another a question for Jay Griffith. Can we please get a question directed? To Jay Griffith. Yeah. Maybe. And I'll ponder it while I take the dab. Oh, look at that. No Are you da- Wait, right. you're dabbing? Is that a, is that a dab pen? pen? It's a dab pen. Oh, okay. The pin Joe Mon. What do you got? Like a sativa, an indica? When will you get laid, Jay? Question mark. Oof. That's. What are. That's. There you rude, go. That's rude, potentially. Length or girth, dirty, Jay? Question mark. Mom's probably done. She's probably tucking in the bed, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're done here in about 30 minutes. Yeah. Good timing. Works fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fuck your mom. Do I have to like say it in plain English? On a scale. I, of, I got it. On a scale of one to sandwich, how high are you? Two and a half. That's it? <laughs> yep. I have watched you hit that Harry Potter wand like 17 times in the last two and a half hours. And you're only like your tolerance is that. Are you Voldemort? Your tolerance is that high? Yep. I'm impressed. I dab for like 10 years, bro. I know. Like but eight years. Still, though, like you're a tank. You've been ripping that pen like it's an oxygen <laughs> tank and you're a J tanks. <laughs> Both dad pins and big booty Latinas. <laughs> He's tanking too. Th- Dude, your tolerance <laughs> is lungs, your tolerance my is lungs get more fucking fucked next than level. Yeah, that's actually impressive. No. Dude, yeah. what's no. what's the percentage on that oil? Ninety percent? What is it? No, uh, not not that good. It's pretty cheap. Probably like forty. I don't smoke that much. Ninety-four point four. I might be a lightweight. I've had a bottle and a half, and I haven't eaten dinner yet, so I got a I got a empty stomach. So yes, right now I'm definitely a lightweight. I'm, I'm definitely definitely buzzed. I'll I'll be honest. Yeah, it's also a dab pen. It's not like so. What, what's the difference between a dab pen and like a regular pen? I don't even know. I mean, a regular pen, just like a well, dab rig. Well, dab rig was like well, yeah, it's just way better, way better. I think the same shit. Yeah, like, I guess you get like is that the same thing? Yeah, it's, it's not really the same. Yeah. So it is or isn't the same. Like, if I get a vape pen, is that different than a dab pen? I mean, I could probably take it out of this cart and dab it myself. Oh. Like, so, normally, yeah. Oh, okay. It's just because it's in a pen. Pens don't hit. I didn't realize you like could actually take it out. That's actually kind of cool. Huh. It's like, I don't know, like a joint versus a bong. You take a fat-ass bong grip. You really want. You can only hit a yeah. joint so fast, you know? Do you ever smoke joints? I just, I just like joints, man. Joints are great. <clears throat> Um, I, I mean, I rolled for a long time. I just, I'm too lazy for that shit. Dabs are just so easy. I just push a button. No, I, I mean? hear Johnny, what's Instead the weed situation in... Propane torch. What's the weed situation in Texas? I mean, do you ever smoke? Mm, I mean, sometimes. Um, I work a corporate as fuck position, so not a lot. But, um, you know, it's weird nowadays, though, is whenever you take, like, a lot of white-collar jobs, like I do, um, they don't drug test you. I haven't got drug tested for like the last three jobs. Not even, not even about jobs, just like the state of Texas, like just laws. Oh, and like, like, um, it's yeah, dude, archaic, weed is still right? illegal. What's, what's weird is weed is still legal, but you can buy like THCA or like THC8 or something like that. I forget what the name is, but you basically can go to the smoke store and it's like one molecule off of being actual THC and you can buy it, like buy the gram there and just smoke it. And apparently it's like the same exact thing, so weird oh, very weird down here but it's still legal technically to have actual weed on you but you can buy like damn near real ass weed at the smoke shop no shit i always thought it would be cool if there was like a place where you could go to smoke weed and there was like an experience room or something like a like a planetarium like you smoke and you sit in the planetarium with like snacks and drinks and like a coffee or something but it's a place where you can smoke weed legally like, why does that exist? Like, chat, do you know anything it's like this? It's in Amsterdam, right? They is there shit like this? Like, 
I still weed coffee you know, shops. Weed like cafe. EU. Yeah, well, you can go to like a coffee shop in Amsterdam. I've done that. Like, you just go in and you buy it's weed. It's just the legal shit, bro. They, it's just they, like they, a I mean, store. they just lock it down. I mean, you guys have been to like weed shops in Vegas, right? Like, you got to like show your ID and it's like, keep moving, keep moving. If you're not buying anything, just walk through. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like a coffee shop in Amsterdam, you go in and there's a menu of weed and you go to the counter and you're like, I want sour diesel and I want a joint and I want these gummies. And they just give you the shit and you could sit at a table and like, smoke your joint and then walk out and like maybe have like a coca-cola or something but there's never a place where you can like order a beer and weed because i don't want like a, yeah apparently you can't do both but there's never a place where you can like spend money on an experience after getting blazed and i i just I, think it's why so regulated in the u.s they, there's probably a lot of laws around it i would imagine because I, I know you can't smoke weed at a smoke shop or like in any legal state you probably no. can't smoke weed there so yeah. It's probably just because it's so regulated. I mean, give it 10, 20 years. I'm sure you'd have that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I mean, they're about to legalize, like, mushrooms or something in California. Like, they were, it was, like, on the docket for, like, Washington, California. Like, psychedelics, so. Jay, they season up. I think it's just, you know. Jay, you ever taken a psychedelic? You ever tripped out? Boomers or acid? I'm done acid. What'd you think about acid? Uh, <clears throat> you know, it was a... It's all right. I mean, did you trip balls and like have an introspective meltdown? Oh, of like, course. Like how? How? Yeah. Like what did you do? When, whenever you, whenever you tripped, did you like walk in the woods? Um, did you sit in an apartment? Like what did you do? Usually with people. Just jerked off. And shit. Dude, yeah. jerking off an LSD <laughs> is weird. Like it's not worth yeah. it. The problem with LSD is you can't focus. Like you can focus for about thirty seconds at a time, and then yeah. after that, you're like, "What am I doing? Where am I?" Has it been and then you... five hours since I thought <laughs> yeah. my last thought? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't see how anyone could get horny on LSD or like get a hard on an LSD. Like, I, I, <clears throat> I could not. I can't. Whenever I would take LSD, I couldn't eat. I couldn't. I Eating wouldn't get horny. Weird. Like food was weird. Yeah. I wasn't horny at all. Like you ever played video games? Oh yeah. Games, yeah. movies while tripping. I watched Requiem for a Dream and Romper Stomper back to that back. That is a horrible fucking movie to watch in LSD. Back to back on three hits of acid. Yeah. Yeah. In the same night. That sounds terrible. It was. First movie at least. Have, do you know Romper Stomper? I don't, know. No. <clears throat> Romper Stomper is. I, I didn't know what it was. My friend put it on. It's it's something else. Let's just put it that way. What is romper stomper? Yeah. I remember one time my uh, like I didn't really trip, but it fucked my neck up. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean it st- fucked your neck up? It, like made my neck super stiff for like ten hours, dude, and I was just so exhausted and like ready for it to be over. And then you can't Damn. like go to sleep or anything. Yeah. What the? Watch a fucking Nazi movie on LSD. Yeah. <laughs> Russell Russell Crowe Russell Crowe is the is the actor in it. I didn't know what it this was. Is horrible. I had no idea what it was. My friend put it on. He's like, I got movies I want to watch while we tripped, and I was like, okay. But like, typically we would go out to the woods and like listen to music and shit and like smoke weed. He's like, I want to watch these movies on acid. I was like, okay. He's like, I want to watch Requiem for a Dream. I was like, I've heard of that. I know it's about heroin and drugs. That sounds insane. Let's do it. Then it was like, there's another movie called Romper Stomper. I was like, is that a movie about wrestling? What is that? <laughs> he was like, "Let's just watch it." And I was like, "Okay." I had no, I had no idea what it was, and I'm tripping my ass off. And he puts that movie on, and it was intense. Let's just put it that way. Not, not great. Not a good way to trip balls. Sounds like a terrible. Fuck. I don't even fuck that movie. You know, it's, 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 it was. A, I mean, the movie itself is probably f- good, but I just don't remember. Guys, it. Very, very well. You guys ever seen The Proposition? It's like an Australian Western. Really fucking good. If you haven't mm-hmm. seen The Proposition. Mm-hmm. Highly recommend it. I've never heard of it. What is yeah. it? Like, what's it about? It's, it's basically, so this guy, the movie starts out, he's like an outlaw, and he gets captured. It's like 1880s Australia. Mm-hmm. And he gets captured by this guy, and they, like, take his brother in the, in the capturing, and their other brother who's like a super crazy badass outlaw in Australia. He's like, hey, you got to go hunt him down or I'm going to hang your brother in like nine days. 
And so he has to like head into the Australian outback and like find his brother and take him back or his other brother will die. And it's really fucking good. Interesting. It gets cool. really weird and very different. No it's shit. In like 2005. Yeah. Oh. Jay, you ever seen Donnie Darko? Nope. Watch that movie. Donnie Darko with Jake Gyllenhaal. Be good. Check it out. And then once you're, once you're done with that, watch Interview with a Vampire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, check it out. Mm. These, these are movies that you should watch. Trust me. Just trust me. Do it. Uh, maybe. You won't. You ever, very you ever seen movies you ever seen the movie at the same time. You ever seen the movie Run, Lola, Run? Nope. Watch that I don't movie. I think I've seen that. Watch Run, Lola, Run. Trust me. Just do it. Trust me. Run, Lola, Run. You ever seen Synecdoche, New York, Summer? Sorry? I might give it Syn- a shot. Synecdoche, New York. <clears throat> I've never even heard of that. My favorite movie of all time. It's got Philip Seymour Hoffman in it. The weirdest fucking movie you will ever watch. I love so good. Love that man. Rest in peace, Mr. Hoffman. Philip Seymour Hoffman, goat. Uh, so good, so good. Jay. Yeah, Plover wants me to watch Arrested Development, but you know, I don't think. I oh, really dude, watch that's a TV good show. That's a good show. That's a, good show. Dude. That's a funny show, that's a good man. Show. Yeah, Arrested Development is solid, in my opinion. That's a good show. Have you seen the Truman Show? Sin the Final brought that up. The movie The Truman Show. Nope. Isn't that uh, Jim Carrey? Who's in that? Yeah, no. <laughs> very worth it. That that's a very good movie. You should definitely check. Isn't that it out. where like everyone's like it's like a fake reality or some shit like that? So Jim Carrey <laughs> is the only person that's not in on the fact that his life is a reality TV show, and everyone in his life is an actor. And there's cameras everywhere. He lives on a giant set, and he has no idea. And the whole world watches him, and he doesn't know. It's good. It's really good. <clears throat> you should watch it. All right. We've been going for two and a half hours. Let's get three more actual questions that we'll answer and not going on a, we'll not go on a giant rant for. We'll answer three questions and we'll end it. How about that? And Jay, yes, you need to watch Forrest Gump. Ken Kenobi's right. It's a classic. You ever seen Forrest Gump? I've seen Forrest Gump, God damn oh, it. thank fucking Christ. And one day, I just started running. <laughs> I the do best know line. what love is, Jay. Yeah. I may not be smart, but I know what love is, dude. <laughs> I want to Forrest Gump my way through life. I, I got to f- say Baba. Yeah, so good. <laughs> okay, Donnie. All right. Thanks <sighs> for uh, sharing lines of the movie with us. <laughs> I'm out here to get my my sea legs, Forrest. But Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs. <laughs> All right, why don't you keep spoiling the movie for fucking Jay, Donnie? They don't know. Jay's seen it. Yeah. If you haven't Jay's seen Forrest Gump, never fuck actually yourself. seen the movie. How Jay, no, Jay has never seen, seen any movie. Gump. You've never seen any movies, Jay. Okay, let's do it. Quiz me right now. Give me like, give me a, t- give me ten. Shawshank Redemption. Yes. Yeah, what's it about? They're in jail, bro. God what damn What happens it. at the end? God damn it. Don't <sighs> yeah, you didn't see that fucking This movie. motherfucker I said the movie. they're in Mission jail. Mission Impossible. You ever seen it? Uh, there's like three I've seen them. <laughs> I've seen most Tom Cruise movies. God damn it. Jay. Okay. God All right. Damn it, Top Gun. You seen it? Yeah, long time ago, though. Okay. The, go- the Goonies. Park. Have you seen The Goonies? Probably. I don't remember it at all, though. Oh, a classic film. The Goonies. Have you seen The Matrix? Don't, I don't you remember fucking it originally, dare. But I did rewatch it. I rewatched it like, fuck, I don't know, probably like two years ago. Have you seen The Lord of the Rings? After not watching it since I was like seven, by the way. I don't remember that shit. Lord of the Rings. I also watched it originally. Don't remember it. I watched one recently, and I got halfway through two before I turned it off. Fuck you. This man got halfway through the two towers and <laughs> turned it off. Chat, will you please get your fucking digital pitchforks out and storm this man's fucking mansion it, and burn more, it down? Fuck you, what dude. What you got? Uh, I cannot. Fuck. Have you seen The Usual Suspects? Yeah. No, I've never even heard of that. Oh, my God. Rounders. Reservoir Have you seen dogs. Rounders? Never heard of it. Pulp Fiction. Of course. Inglorious Bastards. Of course. 
Okay, so you've seen Tarantino movies. Have you seen The Little Fucking Mermaid? <laughs> I've I've seen like oh uh, like two Disney movies probably. Have you seen Star Wars? Shrek is a Disney movie. Yeah, yeah. Pixar. I've seen, Pixar. I've seen like Shrek one and two. Oh, that's Pixar. Twelve Monkeys. Trooper uh, two twenty. Oh, yeah. Trooper two twenty. I've seen Marvel though. I've seen most of the MCU, so I guess that's Star crazy. Wars. Yeah, I don't remember it though. Oh my fuck. I remember watching it, but I don't remember it. What the Most fuck? of this shit was when I was like fucking, I don't know, dude, super young. I don't know. You, you Butterfly effect? You, That's a good you one. You remember movies you watch when you're like six or seven? Bam. Yes. Yes. I remember very, very, no, I don't. Of course. What the yeah. fuck do you think about all day? What's going on there? Yeah, head, what do you dude? do? Like when you're Nothing. just like, when you're just <laughs> no like, thoughts. when you're done with Dark and Darker <laughs> and all the, the dab pen is empty and there's no soju left in the house, like what do you do? Like what do you Brain think? Brain rot. Jay, what do you really do? YouTube, Marine Rock. How many TikTok hours do you have, dude? Yeah, what do you tell me? What I you don't, do? don't, don't, don't download TikTok. Show us your YouTube shorts. shorts I want to watching? know your search history. A lot. I want to know. What do you really do? The man that doesn't watch movies. What do you? Are you a terrorist? Mm. Starship Troopers. Have you seen, you seen Starship Troopers? Never, never. Fuck you. Never seen Star Trek. I'm doing my part. Starship Would you like to Troopers. Know more? It's dudes destroying alien bugs and tits. And you haven't Never. seen that? Nope. I'm seeing like most of the Fast and the Furious. All the good ones, of course. Oh, you yeah, mean Starship Tokyo Troopers Drift? Is... That's the only good one? Like the first four. Everything past that is irrelevant. You're Tropic big Thunder, pharma, I've dude. Seen it. <laughs> you're just you're a goddamn Democrat plant, dude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Jay, who are you voting for next year? Or this yeah, year, it's 2024. I don't think right. I ever voted, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wrong guy. <laughs> You're asking the wrong man. I don't know. I fucking love you so much, dude. You Holy think my shit. vote's gonna make a difference? <laughs> Fuck no. You can miss. You can skip my house, bro. Preach, brother. <laughs> it's all a fucking facade. The votes don't matter. It's already decided, right? Isn't that isn't yeah. that the truth? Yeah. Yep. God, you make me laugh. I don't know. Holy shit. Democracy's There's only dead. hundreds of billions of dollars being at at play all right if america if america fails no effect. how do you think america would be split up do you think texas and california would be like warring states are you kidding me this place is a goddamn war zone are you serious this is a nah. this country is free for all mode I think. california and washington are softy city dude let's be real are you kidding me california in a select couple of cities is soft the farm nah. Are you serious? Midwest, Midwest bodies California and the West Coast in general. Do you not understand you me, that dude? everything north of San Francisco in California is all Trump country, guns, farms, Yeah, it's a bunch hunting. of hippies and shit. Yeah. No, it's not. Dude, you guys getting bodied by the Midwest. You, go, you go to Redding, California, you think it's hippies? It's, it's fucking hunters that fucking love Jesus. Are you kidding? In California. I'm not kidding. I'm gonna get that, but do you realize yeah, a, no, you, a lot of California is listen, like pro gun and like get her done? Yeah, shit yeah. Obviously, like, every parts of every state are like pro this, pro that. But the majority of California, soft, soft. Well, that's because the majority of the people live in LA and SF. I live in San Francisco. Ninety-five yeah. percent of the city is soft as fuck, downy soft. Like, sure. I don't want to get political. All right. They don't get the raw <laughs> Texas sunshine out here, brother. Yeah, we're not from Texas. It's different. He's like, I can't get political if it's not pro Texas. <laughs> so right, my bad. I did I did open it up. It was like, nah, my bad, my bad, my bad. But yeah, I'm getting bodied, dude. Yeah. Now listen, the South, we're so fat, dude. We're done. We're we're dying. The second the war pops off, our diabetes is gonna kick in. What do you mean? We're, you guys got the biggest food storages for sure. Dude, of like trans fats and fried food, we're done after like six weeks, dude. <laughs> the yeah. second the second Chick Fil A doesn't offer their number one combo, dude, we're dying. We're going on strike. <laughs> I'm locking down the first like Whole Foods that I can find, dude. You know they got plants and shit up if in there. If the if the power grid so fails, out the wazoo. let's say the power grid went down. How long do you think right. before shit went fucking ape shit? Before everything fell eight apart? Eight hours. Twenty eight, minutes. Eight hours. No, I, I, my guess is five days. Five days. Ooh, isn't, I'm pretty sure like supermarkets get ransacked within like 
28 hours or, yeah, or remember 24 when hours. Remember toilet paper? Shit. Guys, hold on. <laughs> chat. There has been blackouts in the Northeast before in my lifetime where the power was out for a couple of days in New York City, in the Northeast. One peg is old enough to remember this. Do you remember this? The great outages in the Northeast like 20 years ago? People kept it together, guys. It wasn't two hours, and then it was the fucking purge, okay? Like, we're, yeah, we're what, better yeah. than that. We're is better that than not, that. Are we not, Five, we're like six a whole days? Country. We're yes. talking, boom, EMP, everything's done. Now, no power across the board. Give it four days. Yeah, so one peg remembers. Uh, yeah, I give it 30 minutes, bro. One peg remembers. All of N NYC just went out all outside, all out. All of NYC, Listen. all of NYC, just like went outside all at once. That's true. So the power went minutes. out in the Northeast. Do you not remember this? The power went out in the Northeast for days in New York City and Northeast Ohio, Maine, fucking Boston. There was a massive power outage for yeah, multiple but it's days. It's not like life changed at that moment, right? Like, it did for those okay, people they though. Got, they got to fix it. So we can hunker down three days and make it. Okay. Like we've had blizzards that are like we're out for like five days or whatever. Yes, because they knew that there was recovery within a few days. You're right. Now, if everything went down, first of all, you wouldn't you wouldn't know that everything went down if everything went True. down. Yeah. I don't think shit would fall apart within two hours. Do you know why I know that? Because shit does go offline sometimes and people don't go ape shit. We're not fucking murderous apes. Like, we're human yeah, beings. Yeah, but because there's the promise of it coming back. Right. When the but if promise, there's no promise of... When the promise of it coming back is broken five days later, then people go crazy. Okay, okay. Look, we're talking like a buildup, though. It's like, oh, my God, we're on the news. UFO. It's about to end. No power. Or are we talking just like, oh, do 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 bam, all done. Nobody knows. Suddenly, out of nowhere, electricity just goes out. And like right now, I mean, yeah, probably a couple of days. Yeah, uh, people would people would not days. start murdering sure. and raping their fucking neighbors within two hours. I'm sorry. Well, all I'm just saying, not how thirty works. minutes into the apocalypse, I'm joining a Mad Max gang. I'm Five finding days. the coolest, most charismatic guy, and I'm joining his Raider gang, and I'm enjoying the apocalypse. All right, day five, and it starts with fathers and mothers who can't feed their babies. Those are the people that go crazy first. Those are the people that go I'm running first. to the nearest old dude's house and taking his carbureted V8 straight from his garage <laughs> at gunpoint. Sorry, bro. It's, Jay's uh, got a plan. I got, I got to get out this bitch. <laughs> Jay's I'm got a fucking stuck. plan. I, I respect that. You got I'm out of here. It's going straight for the, the carbureted motor, baby. I respect that. Get them fancy I'm, I'm, computers out of here. I'm becoming the guy in the drums and the giant no. like Mad Max motorcade. I'm just beating that shit. I'm having a good time. I'm dying and like it. I'm just yeah. Fuck it. Why not? <laughs> you said I'm dying and yeah. Why not? You said I'm. I mean, what are you gonna do? It's Donnie, the apocalypse. Donnie literally just said yeah. I'm dying and <laughs> yeah. Why not? No. You're it's gonna the, die. What, you're just gonna, gonna die. Yes. Going? You you, you you live in San Francisco. What the fuck do you think is gonna happen to you? I will die in it, day six. I'll die. Probably. Sure. If I Maybe. don't, if I don't leave in the first twenty-four hours, I will get stuck on this peninsula, and a million people four days later will eat each other alive. If I'm you, good, bro. I'm going in the mountains. Gone. That. I hope you know how to hunt. You know how to hunt. I got a hunting rifle. Never shot it, but I'll figure it out. Look, here, here's the thing, right? The the actual. I'll take a bidet coming. with me so the deer doesn't smell me. Or anything, <laughs> Society sure falls apart. Nice and clean. <laughs> oh my you're gonna, god! You're gonna learn real quick that all the values and like the things that we appreciated in the Western world are gonna fall apart. It's gonna become a real caveman, real fucking quick. Oh yeah. I'm joining. I'm joining the cavemen. All right. I'm. I'm with the cave guys. I'm bringing my guns, my ammo. I'm like, listen, guys, let's do what we gotta do. Oh dude, I'm, I'm having let a good me time. tell you what. How far you make it, you know? Why wouldn't you? Dude, why not? Let me tell you what. If there was a real civil war. Like Trumpers versus everyone else, like oh, in America, God. like right versus left. I'm I'm a registered independent. I think both sides are fucking retarded. I I hate it all. I I've been an independent since I was 18. <laughs> I think the whole game's stupid. But there was a civil war. Trumpers versus the left, bro. I'd fucking put a mag out on instantly. Not a oh, shot. Oh, hundred percent. Not a shot. I'd be like, all right, blue-haired troops. 
We're going to war with the trunk. <laughs> yeah, tuck in your skirts, guys. Let's fucking do this. No. <laughs> Fuck no. I am no. putting on my MAGA hat, even though I hate Trump, to survive the Civil War. <laughs> 100%. That shit Let's would be sure crazy. Let's make sure you have enough blue hair dye to survive the apocalypse. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't Go with think the guys so. with AR-15s, yeah. all right? Like, yeah, all day. You guys can cancel me all you want. I don't care. What I said Survival, is not. baby. What I said is not controversial at all. <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, 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 race car. I'm all right. Race Jay. car, dude. You want like a you want like an all terrain vehicle. You don't want a fucking race car. What, what do, you do you mean? Like ninety percent of cars just stop on a EMP. I'm out that bitch, bro. Yeah, that's you a want good point. Like Jay's some... right. Jay's right though. I'm gone. You want an you want an You're... early nineteen eighties like fucking. You know, beast analog and, beast that doesn't in have the any Tacoma area we have like lahars and sh or we have like in case mount rainier blows up and they're like you don't even get in your car you walk <laughs> because you're not gonna go anywhere and if that's here bro i couldn't imagine like a big big area big giant city area you're not going anywhere uh -huh. yeah, you're right no, realistically Jay's right. speaking Jay's though right. Jay's right the apocalypse coming i'm just giving up fuck that like no air conditioning no wi-fi give... fuck that you're gonna give up fuck because that. it's not 72 degrees where you're at Come fuck probably off. yeah probably you're that, fuck that fucking downy soft you're like <laughs> fucking take me out it's not 74 degrees in the environment I think, i'm at fuck i off. think realistically i'm losing my mind i'm having the most amazing two weeks and i'm getting shot by some random person now that probably. is more likely that is more likely getting yeah getting shot by a panicked scared uh, dude is way more likely i don't than know that. I don't know if there'd be that much like random, mur like over food and stuff. Sure, but like, just like randomly. Well, no. I mean, you that's, gotta really think about like America, what the there's guns everywhere. what the apocalypse means, right? Like, it, yeah. it, at the end of the day, let's say everything falls apart. You gotta be like a hunter, like hunter gatherer society, shooting deer and like raiding fucking canned food. It sounds like a miserable existence. Oh, you mean what humanity has done for 99.9% .9 of our existence on this Yes, planet? yeah, and that shit was fucking miserable to compare. Dude, I can drive five minutes to my car right now. I can get a fucking McDouble with fries and a Diet Coke. Compared to that existence, to what a hunter or gatherer says, that's miserable. But that like, existence that be... only sucks ass because you've had a McFlurry before and put on a VR headset once. That's the only yeah. reason why it sucks. Within one gen within one generation, your your kids living in the apocalypse would not give yeah, a fuck. Yeah, they'd be fine. They Only you would have a bad time. <laughs> you you would have Only a bad time. You? Well, everyone else would just <laughs> live their life like, oh, this is the apocalypse. Food's hard to come by. Everyone's trying to kill me, and I have to hunt to survive. Like everyone would just would just do it. But you, but, but you point, used to go to point, fucking the Century 20 theater and watch movies and order DoorDash. And yeah, it would be hard for you, but the next generation the point would get I'm trying over. to make with that is that 99%, 99.9% of us would not make it. We, we want to talk big. We'd oh, be no, like, no, yeah, no. I'd be down to fucking go through the woods and fit. Shut up. No, you wouldn't. You'd die in three days. Like, all, shut up. all three of us would die. Yeah, 100%. Jay, the, the, how, be long? Like the, how long are you surviving? I'm strapped up. I'm good, bro. You're dying, bro. Down. Strap, being strapped up is way different than knowing how to take care of your needs. Having a gun does not mean you know how to skin an animal and cook it properly and eat it to live. We, we got to be real. Here. Before. I don't like that, bad. What did you just say? <laughs> what did you just say? Before. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> He's out here filleting that shit and... Bro, like that this motherfucker is a survivalist because he went to Sugarfish once. Okay, okay, bro. <laughs> this motherfucker knows how to survive in the woods because... Hey, I can find a fishing pole and play Because Daisy. he doesn't need the wasabi. He can just eat the fish yeah, wait, by wait. itself. We, we've all played Daisy. We're prepared for this. What do you mean? <laughs> know what it takes. Dude, I don't know. I get kind of bored playing Daisy. Keep it a buck with you. Yeah, right. you'd get bored in the apocalypse too. Of course, it's boring. There's I no bet TV. If I played yeah. a thousand hours of Microsoft Flight Sim. I could probably fly, fly a plane. You know, you're fucking Same. stupid. <laughs> you're laughing right what? now, dude. I yeah, I have I never. Drive everything else. Why can't I drive a plane? I have done en enough <laughs> operational checkouts and cockpits in the Air Force as someone who has never done 
uh, a simulator or flown a plane once, I could take a plane off. I could take off. I know how to do it. I bet you could. Yeah, I know how to. I know how to take off. I know how to actually keep it level. I know how to switch to weapon settings. I know how to check the radar. I know how to eject. But goddamn, I'd be scared landing. I'd be fucked. I would. Hardest part. I you put know. me in a Cessna, bro. I'll probably figure it out. I wouldn't know how to land. And if I can't, I bet the manuals in the in the glove box. Dude, that shit would be scary as fuck. Can you imagine being one of those people in history who's been on a commercial airliner or in a Cessna where the pilot is out of commission and you have to land it? There's a, there's a few dozen people in history that have had to do that. Holy shit. No, I'd be, I would do that. What, what if you were the only guy? What if you're on the fucking plane? And they're like, hey, Mr. Griffey of the J Variety, the pilot had a heart attack and we're coming into fucking LaGuardia and no one knows what to do. And Mr. Griffey, you're our only hope. Bro, you have, uh, you have what are you gonna do? You gotta 15 do minutes to fucking get on the headset and land the plane. Dude, you know how hard that would be? A fucking thank God, a 747. Thank God, I flew, thank God I flew one in Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, actually yes yeah had you flown one in a simulator you would be on controller and a mouse and keyboard dude i'd be slapping that pilot across the face like get the fuck please wake up mr please i'll suck your dick please just wake up and land the plane all right no okay no you're right i would do it not suck it but land it myself is what i mean you know but i'd be scared the whole time I, tr I believe you totally <laughs> right jay yep totally yeah, jay. where'd donnie go uh, jay it's just us all right we're gonna play together no i'm just kidding anyway nope uh jay if the streaming career fell apart right now what would you do let's say you were banned well, banned know. permanently from twitch tomorrow what would you do <clears throat> What would you do? Go to YouTube. <laughs> God damn it. I didn't think this question through. Fuck. You're right. You got me there. You got me. You son of a bitch. Have another beer. I'm just Cheers. trying to get my pilot license. Numero six, my boys. Cheers, boys. Hey, happy Cheers. episode 50, chat. Can we get a cap of clap in chat? 50 episodes of this podcast? Cheers. Cheers. You boys are great. I wouldn't want to do this podcast with anyone else. We have a good Same. time. We have a good time. <sighs> All right. Someone in chat asked, who is the best guest we've ever had? That's, too, that's mean. I don't want to answer that. It's super fucking rude. We haven't had a bad guest. Boom. There you go. All of our Ooh. guests have been great. Um, I think the coolest, obviously, was the devs. But here's a fun fact. What is the most watched episode? I have no idea. What do you think, Che? Most watched Darkest Hour episode. Do you have any ideas? <laughs> Spot Hunter one. You're right. By thousands of views. Oh. The Spud Hunter the Spud Hunter episode has thousands more than the dev interview. Isn't that crazy? Kind of crazy, actually. The Spud Hunter interview was actually the only <laughs> podcast episode to break 10K viewers. Wow. Hey. Yeah. But I feel like the podcast viewership is going to change once there's a re-release on Steam, in my opinion. I have a feeling the game uh, is... Maybe. I think the game... If, if they re-release on Steam at, the, at a proper time with the game at a good spot, I think Dark and Darker is going to have a renaissance. I really do. I think it's going to be huge. But we'll see how it's it's all on Iron Mace and how. Who do you think is our high? Here's the fun one. Who do you think is our highest viewed guest, other than Spud Hunter and the devs? It's kind of a weird one. I feel like it's a little unexpected. Um, probably Sequisha. Jay. So bad, strange. It's so bad, strange. Oh, is it the highest view, baby? Is it really so bad? Yeah. Is our, I mean, the third most viewed is a round table, but our fourth most viewed, like, singular episode is So Bad Strange. Nice. People love the So Bad, my dude. Yeah, I, I really want Katie, One Peg, and Spud Hunter on for the next round table. I think that would be such a fucking fun podcast. Imagine a podcast. Sounds good. 
similar to this one with those three also on it. Holy shit. If we if it wasn't just dark and darker focused, if we just had like a round table, like somewhat dark and darker, of course, but then Q and A we just went wild and just had a big fun conversation with those guys. Man, that'd be fun. Wait, Shadow Keeper says just don't let Katie talk about the office. Dude, Katie she love or hate the office. Katie might be the filthiest out of her. all of us. Like listening listening to her rants might be the best. Yeah. Like she's unhinged. Like watching her stream. <laughs> Some of the shit she says, dude, is fucking funny. Like legitimately like dark funny shit. I would I would love to have her on a podcast like this. She's she's sure. legit. Legit. I don't, I don't know if she would fit in well on? On, on this particular podcast. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? We have had Katie, we had Katie on. on for like a solo episode. Yeah, we had Katie. Yeah, on. we had yeah, we had both of them on. Okay. Yeah. No, Katie, I'm saying Katie in an episode similar to this one where we just talk about whatever, I think she'd crush it. Oh, yeah. No, 100%. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's just so she's... off the wall. She's very funny. Very funny lady. Oh, very funny. And then One Peg, obviously, he can, he can riff. And then Spud Hunter is like a silly fucking goose, right? So The man showed up. You don't fuck Smith about the Spud Hunter episode. Is people showed up expecting like a serious, let's talk about the issues with the game. And like balance changes. The man showed up with a casting couch background, <laughs> a literal black sofa, and a yeah. fucking camera. And you tune in, and you're like, let me, guys, can we talk about the fucking game right now? Like, shut up. <laughs> no, you're right. That's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, all right. <clears throat> We've been going for two hours and 56 minutes. Let's get yeah. one final question before we end it for the night. One more. One more good question. And I'm going to piss really fast while we look for that question. I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> I was bringing the camera for a second. <laughs> POV stream, dude. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. This has been... Uh, I don't think I've been this drunk on a camera in a while. I'm... Uh, I'm uh, I should have got alcohol. It just made me shittier. I just been like, ah, who cares? Oh, How do you trip. feel is a good and up and coming or lower <clears throat> count dark and darker streamer? I don't really watch dark and darker streamers all that much. You take this, Jay? Uh, no, I don't know. I feel like King Kenobi's great. He, he's he's kind of what around like a couple hundred. He's great, or is he not considered up and coming? I'm not sure. I don't know. <clears throat> You'll be streaming with the podcast. Uh, Soapy mm -hmm. is good. Oh, yeah. No, Soapy is fantastic. He's a great guest. Love talking to Soapy. Yeah, Soapy's probably up there on the up and coming. Yeah, dude. Somebody who wants to come into the <clears throat> space and make like uh, full on like uh, tournaments and stuff like that. That's awesome. That's good stuff. Yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, me. It's a good one. What's up? Are you good, dude? Talking. Who do you think is the best up and coming low viewer account, dark and darker streamer, Sama? Um, you know, I really like Luffy Taro's mm -hmm. stream. Luffy Taro. Yeah, Luffy's, Luffy grinds. I know that. He's he's good at the game. He's entertaining, and he's 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 fun. His stream's fun. Yeah. I yeah. I would love to have him on. And then uh, who is the who's the is it Darren the Wizard? Darren the Wizard, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's not like the best player in the world, but I just like, I respect the cosplay. I respect the sticking a character. I would like uh, to. I'm pretty sure he's solo demigod, so. He does a, he does As a, a wizard? Like a character? Yeah. What's his name? As a wizard. All right, we got to get him on. God damn. We got to get that man on. What's his, what's his name? Darren the Wizard, dude. Yeah, he cosplays as Darren. a wizard. I, I would love he's to. He's live him. right now, dude. Say hi. Tell him to come on the podcast, dude. This guy's awesome. He's the best. Yeah, his his, full, his stream's great. Full gown and everything. Yeah, his stream, oh his stream is great. His stream is great. <laughs> he's is he's amazing. got that he's got that like early Jay Griffey era era passion where he's willing to like do cosplay because he's not big yet. I just no had the offense, darkest Jay. hour is fans. <laughs> 
Jay's too big now. He won't do Thanks, cosplay Jay. anymore. Yeah, Jay's <clears throat> Jay's a famous streamer. He's over the cosplay. He doesn't have to put this on the This man's wizard, beard though. is awesome. Oh yeah, Darren's the man. Yeah, I, we we gotta get him on. Donnie, message him right now. Say we're watching <coughs> your stream while live with the Darkest Star podcast. You have to come on, please. <laughs> As if our podcast means anything. Or has any clout or sway at all. I said we were a pillar of the community in the beginning of this episode. Are, Who cares? Are, are, are we happened, really? Bro? Not really. Are we? We're just nerds. We're just nerds that talk online. Let's be real here. Yeah. He's hardcore PvPing right now. Oh, yeah. Darren's. Is he, is he owning? Darren's sold. All right. It is 9 10 p.m. I have 45 minutes to walk down the street to get a steak if I want it. And I'm very hungry. The reason why I'm so oh. drunk is because I have not had dinner. I have an empty stomach. And all I want is a I hunk can't of do meat. That. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. He said, It's fun he said, first. And I quote, cool man. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, no. Okay, well, that's either good or like mm -hmm. bad. I don't know. That, who cares? He seemed, I don't know. No, sure cool man. Like, that's a cool, that's a cool thing to say. Cool yeah. man. Yeah. Okay. Why hey, not, we, we're a big fan of yours. We'd love to have you on the podcast. Cool, man. Yeah, of course you sound I mean, I didn't cool. say that. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I was like, hey, we're watching your stream right now. Come on. And, uh, and he was he like, cool, man. He's like, cool, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah he's... He has to get in those DMs. He's got, fucking he's got the green Massage book. him a little bit, you know? Do the, do the Soma special, a little massaging. Get him on the podcast. What's so special about me doing that? You love when well, I do you that? Just got the, you, you, got you like it more when I do hands. it? Is that why it's so special? Well, you, you got All the right. small hands. It makes me feel big. So that's, yeah. that's why. Right. <laughs> yeah, you big Texan cowboy. Is that what you like, huh? Well, it's there's more, a lot of big things more about me. It's more special than I do it? A few particular small things. I didn't things. know that you were into me like that. That's good to know. <laughs> good to know, Donnie. Okay. Uh, guys, we've been going for three hours. This was yeah. episode 50. 50! the podcast I big would number <laughs> I, fuck, I just number. want to say I fucking love you guys you guys are homies I would not want to do this with anyone else this podcast I look forward to this every fucking week even if we were not talking about dark and darker just doing a podcast with you guys for the fuck of it is worth so here's the 50 more chat thanks for watching the darkest hour for 50 episodes. <laughs> this is great. Jay, go ahead. Rip your dab pen. Uh, I'll just have to be made. I do a made costume podcast. Why not, dude? It'd be hilarious. I love it. I definitely want to get. Donnie. See, here's the thing, though. Here's I don't the want thing. to see that, bro. Here's the thing. <laughs> I've never gotten paid for Come this on, podcast. Man. This is this purely a recreational activity. Yeah. You, know, you make I make a hundred bucks on the made podcast. I do it. Why not? You know, you, you got I gotta get a little like monetary compensation. Oh, yeah, why God. not? Sure. This podcast yeah. makes negative one dollar every episode. By the way, yeah this this podcast makes no so. money. It makes no money. Are you kidding me? It is. Yeah. It is more costly for us to come here, out of our own free time, to talk about Iron Mace's game. I, I was going to say it's more costly than X or Y or Z. It's not that costly. At the end of the day, we're just nerds, right? Okay. It's it's not that costly. It's a free podcast. Sure. We're not losing any resources. There's no production staff. It's me in a bedroom and then Discord with Jay and Donnie. There's no money involved. We're fine. I was, I was trying to make up a story there. There's nothing. The Darkest Hour podcast has, has a $0 budget. <laughs> But this is fun, though, for real. I can't believe we made it 50 episodes. I, I never commit to anything that long. So uh, mm -hmm. This is my longest relationship yet, boys. Good. Yeah, there Good. we go. Good. Don't cheat on us, please. Imagine, <laughs> imagine episode 100. Imagine episode 100. Uh, the game will have been out on Steam for several months. There's going to be 200,000 players at that point. There's going to be an arena. There's going to be 12 classes. Imagine episode 100. That's hard. <laughs> it's hard. 
<laughs> yeah. I bet Barb will yeah, still be OP. Yeah, Barb Probably will still, still be on OP. 2025. For sure. Sp think about it though. Spuddy will know and be like fluent in Mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be running into like, instead of teamers, we'll have just like furries, you know, all playing Druid. You're right. Meeting up on the bridge. <clears throat> A crazy game. Dude, no shit. Episode. Send the final. Episode 100, Should. no shit, is one year away from now, only if we miss two weeks. Yeah. yeah. Or no, we can't miss two weeks. <clears throat> or I don't know the math. Math's hard. Anyway, it's 50 weeks from now. That's a year. Factoring in like a, an odd day off or holiday or yeah. vacation or something. Yeah. So, well, we're over a year and we're only on episode 50. Yeah, well, we did miss a few we weeks. We skipped though. a couple weeks. Yeah, we something. missed a few weeks for sure. And then we would obviously, like, many times we pushed back to, like, Thursday instead of Tuesday, which when you do that many times, you're missing many weeks. Yeah. After, like, the fifth, sixth, seventh time of pushing from Tuesday to Thursday. Dude, when were you having Playbore on the podcast? He's, like, your editor guy, right, Jay? Dude, we got to get Playbore yeah. on. Dude. Get Playbore. He talks a lot of shit in chat. I want this motherfucker to look me in the eyes. Dude. You know what I mean? It, <laughs> Jay's yeah. Jay's editor. Um, I met Plebor in Vegas. Yeah, I fucking loved him. Such a great guy. But trying to get him to communicate with you was yeah. so. First of all, Plebor is like a giant. He's like Hodor. Yeah, let's 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 shit talk him real quick. I'm I'm down. Dude, Plebor do is huge. He's fucking tall. Yeah. He's like a big guy. Yeah, he's tall and he's thick and he's bald. And he looks like he could eat. Oh, he looks like no he Caroline could. Caroline have an ass. He oh, looks ahead, like sorry. he could eat you. He looks like he. He looks yeah, like yeah. he eats the bones of an Englishman. Let's put it that way. All he's right. a big boy, All and right, he's a yeah. man of few words. On top of that, I mm. didn't know a plebor liked me or hated me the entire time I hung out with him. Yeah. I was trying to engage him. I was like, plebor, you want a beer? Let's fucking talk for a minute. Let's go fuck. Let's get this. Let's do this. Plebor is just looking at you like, I'll eat you, bitch. Like, he's just the way he looks yeah. at you is like, it's not normal. He's like, he's a man of few words. He's quiet. He's calculated and he's giant. Yeah. So you're like, you, I don't Plebor. know. You're like, I don't know what to think about. I like, cause he's so, he's funny when he wants to be funny. Yeah. I could fuck him up, dude. And like, Easy. occasionally Plebor would say something <laughs> really funny and he'd like, he'd like do something like, you're like, oh, Plebor, I see you. I see you. And then he'd go quiet. He'd go black ops quiet. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah, need yeah. an episode of Plebor. Yeah. Plebor, we're getting you on. You scared, dude? You Jay, coming on, Plebor? Jay, what do you think? He ain't coming on, bro. Plebor. Yeah. I, bet, I bet he wouldn't. Hey, chat. <laughs> Challenge accepted, am I right? Plebor, you coming yeah. on or what, bitch? Let's go. Yeah, bitch. Oh, Donnie, you didn't meet him. I, I met him. I met, I, I met him. You didn't meet him. You don't get to say that. Hell Darn. nah, I ain't coming on. Dude. It's, you, you said he was bald. You fucked up, dude. Why'd you say that? What? Some dudes are bald on purpose. You fucked up, dude. Why'd you say, dude? Wait, why is that something. bad? Jay, this fucking guy, am I right? Wait, what, what did I miss? What's true? Trevor, Trevor doesn't, he doesn't even play this. Dude, that's fucked Wait, up, dude. what's what's about all being bold? Dude, neither do I, so we're good, dude. Come on the podcast. <laughs> Plebor, <laughs> Plebor, we're having you on. Plebor, you're you're our next guest. Get ready. Lock it in. There we go, dude. All right, I'm gonna get some dinner. It's late. All right. I'm kind of drunk. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Kinda. Yeah, I'm drunk. <laughs> you guys are fun. I love you guys. Episode fifty. We've been going for over a year. We made it 50 episodes. You guys are the Ooh. best. It's been a pleasure, pleasure doing this podcast with you guys. It's been fun. Yeah. Been fun. I'm excited. <clears throat> to, uh, I'm excited to uh, continue on. You guys are the best. Cool. Donnie, too, so where can people find you online? Uh, I stream sometimes and I have old YouTube videos. So Donnie. Okay. On both platforms. Two E's no, on maybe Twitch. this week. No, maybe. I have been playing a lot of Hell Divers too, but not too late. I Fuck got a job man, started. Maybe sounds like maybe. If Donnie, maybe, chat here's a, here's a, here's a secret about Donnie. Had Donnie in the last two years that I've known him, just concentrated on two videos a week. That's it. 
a month. Two videos a, a lot of work. One video. Sorry, two videos a month. You're right, Jay. You're right. Two videos a month. His fucking channel would be so much bigger because he's talented at being a YouTuber. His videos are funny. They're well edited. They're good. The comedy, the writing, the script is on point. It's the whole time you watch the video, you're like, wow, I would watch more of these and keep liking these videos. And this lazy fucking sack of shit. Look at this fuck. This stolen Valor cunt wearing his fucking Air Force jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Show us your I stolen Valor, you out. fuck. Yeah, it's Snitsy a wasted talent, dude. Wasted talent. Snitsy Chad just exposed me. He goes, secret about Donnie. He's all talk. Softies will die. <laughs> <laughs> should at least throw something together just for the one donnie time, you're a least. talented video creator like just do it you fucking lazy uh, bitch if you would, just but... stuck to it you would be a full-time youtuber already his problem existence is expensive and uh existing is a, a time time endeavor and you you know i, I gotta work my corporate as fuck job so there we go i get it i get it Hey, it doesn't matter. Uh, maybe at one least, day. Hey, at least maybe we have day. you on the podcast. At least we have you on the podcast. That's all that matters. Jay, Donnie, it has been a pleasure doing The Darkest Hour with you guys so far. Merry episode 50. GG, congrats. GG. I will see you guys next Tuesday for hopefully Distortion 2. Oh. If, Distor oh, if Distortion 2 doesn't come on, I would love to get Rush Frog on. I want Rush Frog on. I want Rush Frog RF on. RF would anyway. be great. RF would be great anyway. I, I'm just trying to get Distortion 2 next week just for the hell of it. I want Rush Frog on no matter what. I'm not trying to say he's a backup guy only. No, no, no. He is definitely coming on the podcast 100% regardless of Distortion 2 coming on, whatever. But if Distortion 2 cannot come on next week, I'd like to expedite RF's appearance is what I'm saying. Sure. I think that'd be cool. Anyway, Shit. this was a great podcast. I, I genuinely had a lot of fun. I have so much fun doing this podcast. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys. The two of you for doing it with me and we'll see you guys next Tuesday at 6 PM PT for episode 51 of the darkest hour. The okay. second half. <laughs> the second half? <laughs> you mean the... The, f the, the second the, hour. The second eighth. Yeah. Yeah, come on. What are you talking about? Yeah. All right, Jay. You know what to say. Say it. Bye-bye. Come on. Come on. You know what to do. It's episode 50. It. It's episode no, 50, bro. Come on. It's episode 50. No, no, get, yeah, that's what to you get got. Together, together. Okay. On the count of three. No, no, to okay. get, no it's episode 50, yeah, Jay. Yeah, go. On the count of three. One, two, three, four. Go fuck yourself. Five. <laughs> God, you fucking cunt. God damn it. Goodbye. <laughs>